I think we're live. <sighs> boy, oh boy. I think we're live. Hello everyone, welcome to Universal Studios, Florida. We are celebrating Mardi Gras for just a few more days. It ends April 7th. This has been running since February 3rd. Uh, and although a lot of people think Mardi Gras celebrations may have ended everywhere else around Orlando, this one runs the longest and the deepest. And in my opinion, as one of the coolest uh, parades, an amazing uh, drink and beverage program, uh, and a lot of fun things to see. And Phenomenal Brandy is in town. So we're very excited to see her. Ryan will be here. Some other friends may stop by. I, mean, I told Ferris and other friends about it as well today. It's been a day. Honestly, since I lost you, and I'm very sorry if you were watching yesterday's stream, we got cut off abruptly. Um, and if you're brand new, none of this will make sense, but I'm going through a big lawsuit. Lawyers, uh, they called. I've been waiting for a phone call for two weeks. I specifically said they call in the morning yesterday. They didn't. Uh, but then again, we told them to call the day before. They didn't. But anyway, they called, so I had to answer. I answered it real quick while on a stream, and I put them on hold to come back and say goodbye to all of you because I had to take the call, and I couldn't get back on the stream. And I was so sad. I also never gave our sponsor a shout out. SJG3 Collectibles. Thank you so much. Uh, I feel bad. Like a stream without. All he asked is for a mention on live streams, and I blew it. So yeah, since the stream ended yesterday, I had a great day yesterday. But since the stream ended yesterday, it's been a rough 24 hours. A lot has happened. But here's the good news. You're not here for that. You're here for some fun, some magic, some positive vibes. Everyone's got a story. Everyone's got issues. Everyone's going through things. Tonight, we want to take some of that away. It is Mardi Gras here at Universal. And we are about to go inside, check out some of the food and drink booths, and learn from facts from the one and the only phenomenal brandy. What you found me out here. Do a little intro. Coming up like a creeper. <laughs> no, I saw you and I was like, this is perfect. <laughs> Um, did you get to meet Hope? She, her and some friends are like in the store. She needed, a, we needed a new plushie today, obviously. You've so got to have a new plushie. She's doing some last minute shopping. I said, you do what you need to do with your friends. We'll check out here. This is a good time because I have to get my AP to make sure it's going to work. Are you expired? No, I hope, I don't think so. We're oh, okay, good. okay. But at least it's out. I'm used to having a magic band, but I like to have this ready to go. Um, all right, got, are we ready to go in? I got mom staked out at like the perfect table. Uh, when well, you said you had a great stakeout, and then you were like, I'm coming up to meet Hope Mike when well, we lost our spot. No, mom is Forgot there. Forgot mom and, is holding and, it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And hey, my mom has been a trooper today. She has walked both wow. of these parks. What have you guys gotten done her, so far today? Her hip is killing her, so we parked her on a chair at Mel's, and she's like so Gucci now. I fed she was her in food. such a good mood yesterday, too. I fed her food with food. We have a chair for her. She's doing so lovely. So she's been a trooper. Let's go say hi to mom. Let's go in. Uh, are you still eating and drinking from the Mardi Gras booths? Because I still have to try some things. Uh, we just did Germany again. Just How because was Germany? it's like my favorite one. Was it? I That's the one yet. that has the Jesus' hush puppies. It's like, I know you're not a sweet guy, but it's like a, it's like an angel food cake or something. Okay. With a fry. I don't know. They're so amazing. And it has the currywurst and the chicken. Um, but there's a ton of stuff. A All right. A ton of stuff. I think we're ready to head in. I just wanted to tell everyone, sorry for the delay. We're here. We're at Universal. Brandy's here. Other friends are going to join us. And if you haven't hit the like button yet, please do so. It really helps. We're going to try and get to 100 tonight. We're only at 30, so we need some love. Let's go into oh, Universal Orlando, Florida. And if you're uh, in the pop culture loop and you're watching this Nickelodeon documentary, Nickelodeon used yeah, to be right better. over there. And I wish I came down before it was gone. But this is where uh, I always, so this Universal Globe remind me of the intros for Nickelodeon. Oh, for sure. And when I watched, I was like, and I want to go there one day. The over there with the gag, the gag yeah, and I didn't, I've, I never got to see it. I never came here as a child. The first time I ever went to Universal, I was 30s. All right, there's my kid. I have to go fill her form out and then I'll meet you in there shortly. All right, so, hey, you were so awesome. I won't put you on camera, but you were so awesome yesterday. Hope's our executive producer behind the scenes. I'll see you inside. Here we go, Universal Studios, Florida. Few more days of Mardi Gras. So fun fact, 
I am on the float for the very last night. So if you guys are here for April 7th, I'll be throwing out beads. That whole week's going to be nuts. As of right now, we're still trying to work it out. We're trying to find some kind of creative airfare combinations. I've gone through, I think up to this point, about 87 combinations of flights trying to get my flight price down to get up to Washington to see my buddies uh, and the internet because they're coming back to Orlando and I never got to see where they live and I really, I've never been to that state. Um, and we, once we're there, a lot of things are gonna be awesome. So I just have to get there as cheap as I can. So once we're there, everything else will be on the cheap and then fly right from there to New York for my uh, nephew's first birthday. Then fly from New York back here Sunday morning and then come on and be on the parade here that night. So it's gonna be a whole to do. They do facial recognition now here. I have a feeling this is going to be coming to a lot of parks soon. Perfect. You realize we've got people working up and down here who are ready to take this chicken. Yes. You got to exit this one. All right, I like that. That was fast. We're in. We're here at Universal Orlando. Thank you so much for being here, spending your Wednesday evening with us. You can see it's been like this weird, will it rain, won't it rain. It did rain for a little bit on the way here. And then we only have one other little chance in about a half hour, but the clouds are out. Hoping it all works out for us. We have a very fun night in store. They are done with the concerts for Mardi Gras. The last one was on St. Patrick's Day night, we came here. What a day that was. We got this, who do we see? We got to see Zed. Let's see what some of the wait times are tonight. Uh, let's see, well, Men in Black, 20 minutes. Jimmy Fallon, 20 minutes. Mummy, 35. Simpsons, 20. Wow, they're actually pretty high. Transformers, 25. No more shows except for the parade, it looks like tonight. Let's see the other ones, the next menu. Uh, Villain Cons 20, Ring got 65, geez. Hogwarts 25, Ollivander's 15. Despicable Me right there, Minion Mayhem's at 40. ET's at 25, wow, crazy. They're actually like legit long wait times today. I will say, I think Universal did the right thing not blocking people out this week. Because all the Disney pass holders on the lower two levels are blocked out, but open here. So I bet you they're seeing a lot of those Disney regulars coming over to Universal to get their theme park fix. Right now we're on Rodeo Drive. We got the Hello Kitty store to the left, the Hollywood Brown Derby hat shop, not the Hollywood Brown Derby like at Hollywood Studios at Disney. The Born Stuntacular, a very cool stunt show. Uh, really taking stunt shows from the old days to, I think, the future. Like, it's really, really neat how they use physical sets and physical stunts mixed with digital stunts and digital sets. It's neat. They also have a children's parade viewing area, which I love right here. Because sometimes it is hard. People crowd the streets. This is more of a... And again, I... I hate saying this, but I don't want to put it in a box. There are obviously things to do for the whole family, but this is more of a teenager, older kids and adults park, for sure. So it's nice that they have a little kid section to catch beads, because these streets do get lined with a lot of taller guests, you could say. Schwab's Pharmacy looking good. On our last stream here at Mardi Gras, we took you through the Tribute Store. It's pretty awesome. The Mardi Gras Tribute Store starts over by there where it says the Tribute Store and River Cruises. And it exits right over here by Studio Styles. It's so cool. I love how they do their Tribute Stores. I think it's very neat. And good for them, like, capitalizing on, hey, instead of just, like, selling merch for special occasions let's turn it into a whole experience and people want to walk through it and then 
it makes them want to spend a little bit of money. So if you did miss our last Mardi Gras live stream, the parade, which is kind of like one of the coolest things about Mardi Gras, it steps off and ends through this gate that you're looking at to the right, right by that wave. But they reversed the parade this year, so now it comes out and goes straight as opposed to making a left and then it comes back up the street we just walked and back in this way. The last time I was here with Robert, we had a great time. We sat over here, we got a table over at La Bamba and then we watched basically from this corner right here. Today, Brandy said she's got mom camped out with a great spot over here at Mel's. And this corner is one of the best spots, right? Because you can get the entrance right here. This is the parade starts. And then the parade comes back down this street. So you just shift from one side of the sidewalk to the other. Again, if you're here for the last day of Mardi Gras, April 7th, I will be on a float slinging the beads. Let's see if we still have time before the parade. We got about a half hour, but let's see if I can find Brandy's Madre. We also have a little bit of a fear of this rain. I just caught a few raindrops walking around, but most of it has died out. I do enjoy standing here sometimes because sometimes they say, hey, you can stand on the lower steps. Sometimes they let you all the way up, but you get the parade stepping off right there. And then normally it would cut this way, but now it goes this way. So you get to say hi to everybody. The parade cuts down in front of Transformers and it comes back around, goes around New York, back down Rodeo Drive and ends right here as well. So Mel's is a great spot if you're ever here at Universal looking for the parade. While we have a minute really quick, I would love to say hi to some of all of you here in the chat who have been saying hi, but also, wait, actually, let me show you some of these cars that I'm uh, sitting next to for a second. Love the classics here. Uh, unlike the last time we were here, where after the parade, the park closed, the park is actually open until nine tonight at a respectable time, which is great. But yeah, you know what? While we're here hanging for a minute, yeah, Colleen's digging the music. I am going to catch up with some chat and say hi to a bunch of people. Again, if you could please hit that like button, it really does help. We got 60 people watching right now and only 38 likes. It hurts my heart. Please hit that like button. I'm sorry. I was sharing some of my troubles and we are a positive stream, but you know what? We are a big family here and... If you're new, I say this all the time, that this, I hope this brings you some joy, um, takes you away from some of the problems and stress in your life, and transports you to all these amazing theme parks in Orlando and brings you that little bit of fun. But also, you guys do so much for me, because these streams do pick me up. Uh, I was actually really looking forward to tonight's stream, because today was a bit of a tough one, and everyone's got good and bad days, but today... It was a bit of a challenge, and where I almost wanted to even cancel the stream, I was like, you know what? It actually pumps me up. Oh, my God, I have to go say hi to this woman. 
She runs every 5K, 10K, and half marathon, I know. She runs the races. She shows up for the beads. How are you? Can I give you a hug? So good to see you. We're live on YouTube. We're doing a little stream, but I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go over and say hi to her. <laughs> I see her, I think, every weekend. So. Where are you going to be next weekend? This weekend. Uh, what is the date? This is, are we in April or still no, March? We're still March. Uh, possibly over at, um... Are you going to look forward to running? Yeah, I'm the supposed to. Yeah, okay. the hippity hop. Mm -hmm. I was doing it, they gave it to someone else, and now I'm fighting to get it back. Oh, the whole different company you mean? No, they're trying to give it to another DJ. Oh. Um, I think, so, the company they booked their DJs from... Jack? No. What? Jack? No. Jack, Jack works with me, I'm okay. Pete. You're Pete, okay. Yeah, yeah, But, uh... Jack might be there, or there's another guy. I think they try to give us all equal work. Okay. And I had been busy this month, and I think they try to give somebody a little more work. But I was like, I love those events, and they're so close to home. So I'm going to try. Okay. And also, my other half wants to run that one. So anything that I DJ, she runs. Okay. So I'm like, guys, if you hire me, you're already guaranteed another entry. Uh -huh. Like, that's the way to go. So I might be there. Are you running it? Yeah. How many races do you run every, like, Let's say month, or even because I feel like you do like every weekend, yeah. Every weekend, but also some days you do two different races in a day, in a day yeah. or Saturday, Sunday, back to back. Right. And I have something Saturday. I have a Camel 5K, the Baha'i Camel 5K. Where is that? That is in um Hakka, I think. Oh, okay. That's not bad. I didn't even know about that one. Uh, yeah. Look that Who up. runs that? Which company? I was like, wow, you got all the beads already. I know. <laughs> this amazing woman runs, I, I was just, I was teasing, but I wanted to say every single 5K or 10K or half marathon that's in Orlando because wow. every weekend I've seen her run. Oh, no, that's next weekend. I'm okay, next, next weekend. Okay, because Hippity Hop is this Saturday. This Saturday, yeah. Yeah, and then I. The hip hop. The hip The hippity yeah. hop run. That's why I want to work that one. I want to DJ one because yeah. I do the hip The hip The hip to the hop. The high camera, one mile, five K. Which company is running that? It's in it. It's in it. It's not. It's Because there's two companies that work for the other two hire other DJs, but we got to get in with them because I love this whole running community that become a part of. They're so awesome. They're great. You're the voice of the runner. I uh, and I say, if you hire me, you know you're guaranteed get a money back guarantee because Lauren's gonna go run it and sign up and pay that's full true. price. Yeah. That's true. That's true. You're like a two for one deal. It's a two for one. <laughs> Shriner. Shriner. I, I mean, the Children's Hospital. That's good. A great that's charity. A good cause. Yeah. My grandfather's a Shriner. That's he cool. He had the little hat and everything. I love the little yeah. hat. <laughs> they don't they look like SCA hats? Kind of. Yeah. yeah a little bit. <laughs> Actually, probably SEA hats, I would say, might even be based on Shriner's Shriner stuff. hats, yeah. Because yeah. okay. there's three big companies I work for. Who did you pay money to? Who is doing this? Oh, okay. I don't know about this one. Do you think this weather is going to hold out? I looked it up. Uh, it's all supposed to stay north of us. I know. That's what it's saying. But I just, if it fades even like two miles south, we could get some rain. But what I'm thinking is they might send it out early. It's saying that it's raining right now and it's not. That, see that, but they see that, uh, so this is what I was sending out in the Discord. Go join our Discord. Is that this is all moving up and north. Yeah. But it's this little strip coming towards our big blue dot that I'm worried yeah, about. Maybe it won't be too bad. I ain't scared. I'll look it up though. Yeah, Baha'i. Baha'i Shrine 5K Camel Walk Run. All right. Camel Walk? Yeah, you can use a camel. Oh, okay. Now, <laughs> now I'm. Now you're sold. See, I bet I want to work. Yeah. Well, it was great seeing you. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen her during the week. Oh. <laughs> hey, you want to do some fun facts? Yeah, hold on. Let me grab my water bottle over here. For those who don't know, if you're just joining us, Phenomenal Brandy. Is phenomenal, but she is our universal treasure trove of fun facts. We'll have to do some quickie in the area. Let's do some facts. fun ones. Whenever anybody asks, where do you watch the parade from? I have my mom with me today, so we have like a table with seats. Love mom, that. Watch 
on this strip right here. To the right or the left? Either one. Okay. I actually used to sit in the one like area where it's roped off and there's a bench, but that's VIP now. That's how you know it was a good it spot. It was a good spot, Because yeah. they took it away from me. That's like me and the Magic Kingdom when yeah. they came up that main, uh, when they come out of Frontier. Yep. Uh, and I sit right there. They shut it all down. Took but anyway, it away, took yeah. It away. Um, so this is called the Esoteric Gate because it's built based off of the gate in Hollywood for esoteric pictures. Okay. So the plaque and everything on the side is accurate in the one of Hollywood. Because that's, that's fun. I did not know that. Um, the, you know, there's windows on Main Street here, which I think a lot of people don't realize. I, I don't know too have. much about it, but I, I know that current studios up here is the same studios that makes the floats for the Mardi Gras Correct. in New Orleans. Correct. Yeah. This is for Blaine Kern, who is Kern Studios that produces a lot of the large-scale fiberglass props that are out through Mardi Gras, but he also does every single one of the Mardi Gras parade floats. There are four parade floats that happen every single year. The Gator, the Trumpet Guy, the Balcony, one more, oh, and then like the entry one that's like the drum one, and then every, uh, then every other float changes in this parade every single year. So even if you saw the Mardi Gras parade last year, there's always at least one new thing. Right, you didn't yeah. see the Mardi Gras parade. Um, one that, not to be like a little bit of a downer on it, but I think is something really special is there's a Pulse nightclub shooting tribute in this park. Very nice. So he's called the Pulse tribute. And it's oh. Window right here, and it actually has um, a dedication to all of the cast members or team members that were killed in the Pulse nightclub shooting. And this is the that's only very one that's sweet. like- I did not know that existed. In a theme park area, because obviously so many people were affected by that. It affected people in the theme park community hugely. Universal yeah. like really stepped up. And if, uh, for those who advice. don't know, I mean, it, it's been crazy. It's, it's been a little bit of a minute now. It's been what, about seven, eight? Oh my gosh, probably, yeah. Like between way before yeah. COVID, seven so. to 10 years ago, uh, there was sadly a, a nightclub shooting kind of crazy it does tie back to disney they did backtrack the shooter yeah, the on traffic cameras and everything else he did pull into disney springs and then saw the police presence and pulled back out uh 2016 yeah so about nine years ago but and uh honestly, so i really love that tribute that's really really special i love that and it's like kind of hidden back here you have to like come look for it I have been like sitting here waiting on stuff though and seeing like people that'll come. Like, I if love it's a family that. member, they like to We're go, probably gonna make that into a short because I love that so yeah. much. Uh, and then you can see and esoteric pictures here. right there on the pole. The first fun fact Brandy was giving us, which is super neat right there. All right, let's you keep it going. Want a speed run tribute store? Because I know everything in there. Sure, we did a speed, well, we did a slow run last time, but let's speed run it. So if you missed our last stream, the tribute stores here are super neat. When there's a special occasion, Halloween Horror Nights, Mardi Gras, they build tribute stores out. And I think it's super cool they do this because, one, it's brilliant to bring people in who are just like, oh, it's another gift shop. But now there's unique things to see and do. So it's almost like everyone has to experience it. It becomes part of the event. And the storyline builds in the tribute stores. They're Which I did not know. They're all connected. This one is Haunted Riverboat themed. With the barricades on it? And also, I see this barricade here. You can see it, he's like posters that are plastered outside. Um, Earl the Squirrel is like a popular character here at Halloween, or at Christmas time. And his best friend is Gerg the Llama. I and did not know that. And here is a poster of, that's Earl the Squirrel's best friend, Gerg the Llama. And this one here, which you might be able to see that one better. This is actually a callback to Howling um, Horror Nights. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, the Black Cat 20, Club. 2018, 2019. That this was the entryway had a cat shaped doorway that was exactly this shape. So this is a callback also to a previous <laughs> tribute store. Wow. They're all just building the storyline as you come. 2017 was my very first Hollywood Horror Nights. I flew down from New York and uh came alone for the first hour and then met up with friends but it was wild okay so you see here the first mate it's gregorio because it's gerg the lala no oh. yeah.
Now entering the tribute store. It's a, right now it's a drizzle. It's all supposed to be north of us. Let's just hope it keeps getting pushed that way. So we have some luggage here in the front room, which I'm sure Brandy's. This is Shadow Creek State Park, which was the setting of the Yeti house from last year. We went to no. Shadow Creek campground. That's so cool. Here is one from Lightning Gulch, which would have been HHN 24. It was pre-25. I don't I remember exactly what year, but in that area, but that's from an HHN house also. If you guys are enjoying these fun facts, I mean, we got almost 100 people watching and only 50 likes. Hit that like button. Let's try and get to 100 likes before this parade. It's aggressive because the parade kicks off in 10 minutes, but I feel like we could do it. With these fun facts, I'm learning so much, and I don't know these things. Every tribute store now has a hidden girl of a squirrel, and they hide peacocks in lots of stuff because of the NBC. NBC okay. Universal. So. Peacock. We have, we have a hidden peacock here. Would you like to meet the captain? He's right here. He just apparitioned. Oh, I didn't think I saw this in my first walkthrough. Yeah. You that's have to catch the cool. timing. It's got Pepper's Ghost in it. Oh, oh that's super yeah. cool. So this whole gift shop, again, evolves as it goes through. <laughs> and I'm not showing all this stuff. Oh, you don't? Go ahead. I don't want to be here. Okay, you don't have to. <laughs> Is there anything you wanted to say before I turn the camera? Because we're about to go that way again. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we'll so we got some of the cards on the floor, the check-in. I love the tribute shops, but I never know about all the little Easter eggs like Brandy does. So this is so much fun. So we boarded the ship. We're in the ship now. Okay. We saw the captain in the thing, and then we're in, in the ship. We're on board. We're on board. Ooh, it sounds like it. Oh, here. Hey, wait. Turn around. Turn around. Ooh, it's spooky light. Oh, I did not notice this last time either. I thought it was this a wall. A wall, yeah. That is so cool. The scrim, which hides. Wow, that's fun. Something's happening. We're getting a warning. Oh, we no, we've had a shipwreck. Oh, oh shipwreck. no, we have a shipwreck. The shipwreck. Oh, no. And the best that's thing. why I this do is love the these. This the quietest I've ever been in here, too. There's not a this single is great. person. Yeah, we have the whole store to ourselves. They're all lined up for the parade. Right, right. <laughs> I love this floor. The floor though. is great, and the floor does things. interact, and there is like gators and things as well. There you go, there you go. Merch. Oh, we got a croc. I love how they like really leaned into King Gator as a character this year. Yes. I think that that's really awesome. The popcorn bucket has been a huge seller. They're completely yeah. out of the flush. They have no more gators. Well, thank goodness, Robert. Yeah, I'm pretty sure cleaned them out on plushes and we gator ours. buckets. We got yeah. Ours. We got ours open weekend, so. Once again, now we're up to almost 100 people watching, only 55 likes. Let's go. Brandy is breaking out the fun facts. Oh, Hit the like button. I know. Well, they do sell snacks midway through because we just were in a shipwreck, so, like, you need a snack. <laughs> right. Yeah. They have a fire cookie dough bowl. Wow, that's fun. I haven't had that on it, but that's good. All right. So there's snacks. We see that we love all the theming and scenery here. Be gentle, be gentle. And then what's the name of this gator? King Gator. King Gator. He is the gator that's supposedly like the long float at the end is always yes, the King, King Gator. Gator's one. But they like kind of made him this like fun. I like it. I think it's I actually really like sweet. It. He's got some beads on. I'm He's a fan. kind of leaning into like the Earl the Squirrel vibe and I like how they like I like how this is all an IP that's not based on a movie that Universal Creative developed. Like basically yeah. just, just it's like our nice, it's like our Chuby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Purposeful. <laughs> yes. So now what is this room? Because now it looks like we are at our ends. Like there is things happening. So this is the voodoo guy. His name is Bon Tonton. Bon Tonton. Which is French for something. I don't know. I don't French know. For French for uh, dessert Tonton. Is that right? These are fun. Bon Tonton. First day of year. Well, listen to her. She knows it all. So we're under the sea. We're in the shipwreck. And this is the voodoo spell that he is casting over the ship. And then this is his room. So all of his merch is in here. Oh. Oh, I 
like those socks. I love the color scheme that they did this year. It's, yeah. it's like, sometimes I feel like it's like aggressively yellow for Mardi Gras. I do like the neon yellows and greens. It works really well. And purple obviously picks up by a black light. So I guess this was the crew or? Yeah, I think they, I don't think they made it. You can tell, I guess, uh, you can see some of the shipwreck here, uh, as well as up there. And then there is Bon Ton Ton. I do like the merch this year. Oh, yeah. We did, we did. Yeah. Which I didn't see the first time, so I'm happy I came back in. And then, now we're in the belly of the sunken ship. And here's Bob Tonton to see us out. And we saw the hidden peacock, but you have to look really hard for the hidden squirrel. Oh, there's a squirrel in here? Yeah, oh, dude, oh I see it hiding behind the uh, croc. Yep, he's behind the alligator. There's your hidden Earl the squirrel. Yeah, squirrel. right behind the alligator, Earl the squirrel taking his chances. Thankfully, that's just the skull. What a fun shop. I love a good themed anything. I'm all about theming. And I, everyone knows if you've watched me for the last six years on Disney Media across multiple sites and platforms, I always was Disney over Universal and used to really throw hate this way. But Universal has stepped their game up. I also met Brandy, but Universal has stepped their game up. And I'll just say, honestly, from the pandemic, I never saw this level of theming, but... The theming has gone way up. The entertainment just daily in the parks is amazing. When they, we walked in this afternoon, everybody was out. Oh, hey, they did start early. Oh, we're nailing it, though. They started five minutes early, but we're good. Look at this timing. Tribute store right to the first float. <laughs> So I guess they're expecting some rain. So sometimes if there's rain or lightning, they will kick the parade off a little early. So, but the good news is we will see them coming back. So if we miss them on the front, we get them coming back. Dun, dun, dun. And like I said, on the last night of this parade, uh, next Sunday, a week from Sunday, I'll be out on one of these floats throwing those beads out. While we watch, I'll say hi to some chat as well. Oh, we got a good spot. All right. How about this here? I'm going to jump down in front. block anyone. There we go. Oh. We got 100 people hanging out. Only 60 likes. Please hit that like button. It really helps. If you're new, please subscribe. We are here at Universal's Mardi Gras. <laughs> Woohoo! I got hit with so many bees, I had to hand him out. Look at all these amazing dancers and floats. I'm going to go up and say hi to as many people as I can while these floats are going by. Hi, Joey M. Just mousing around in the house. What's up, Long Island? David Long, Sibako, Colleen Kidder, Mark Bueller. Good evening. Lynette says, please, everyone, remember to hit the like on the way in. Thanks, Lynette. Hi, Alyssa. Hi, Bill. Robert D. in the house. The last time I was here, Robert, we had a night. 
Brandy saying hi in the chat, but also here in person. Dawn is here. What's up, Dawn? Go everyone, there you go. Colleen already posting links, thank you so much. Hi Kelsey, hi Debbie. Peaches is on their way to Florida eventually, stuck at the airport. But you could watch this in the meantime. Hello, Captain Kirk and the Kirk clan. Great to see you. Ryan Palo says it's raining over there. It's a light sprinkle. We're hoping to avoid it. Happy Wednesday to all. Hope you're having a great week. You made it. It's home day. Fail me now. T3 in the house. What's up, Tomorrowland Traveler? What was the hit this weekend? Thank you, Colin. You posted the link to the Discord. Hello, April. Hi, Don. Colleen says, Universal really goes all out for this. I totally agree. They really stepped it up. Hello, H7 Opolo. King Gator is super cute. Wait till we see a big King Gator. So many great dancers between the floats. Kevin Sparrow, how are you? Great to see you. Boston Drew in the house, Andrew C. I also love the imagery, H7 Opolo. Andy Van Dyke is here. My man, help me. Uh, we had a good chat today on the phone. Talk me off a ledge. Even I get a little stressed and overwhelmed. Who would have thought? Jeffrey Giordano, Tyler Silva, what's up? Lady Kirk is in the house. Look at this. Happy Mardi Gras. Easter is coming up this weekend. So this is one of the last Mardi Gras weeks we're going to have. Hook the camera, hook the camera, hook the camera. Here comes the heat. That was the cold float, but here comes the heat. We got 92 people watching, 68 likes. Please hit the like button. We're trying to hit 100 likes before the end of this parade. If you're on a computer or a cell phone, it's easy. Just tap that like button, smash the thumbs up. Oh, look at that fire. If you're watching on a TV, you might have the, the up button on your remote or down or whatever it is, but help us out. We got to hit 100. Let's go. Here comes the heat. Hook the camera. Hook the camera. Oh, close. Try to hook the camera. I like to give people a challenge. We did get a few residual misses. Look at these fun outfits. Just joining us, we are here at Universal Orlando. 
Universal Studios Florida, whatever you want to call it, but it's still Mardi Gras season. We're having a blast for the Mardi Gras parade. There's still another about 10 days left of this festival and this amazing parade, which is absolutely astonishing. Hit that like button, please subscribe. Aim for the camera! Aim for the camera! Oh, I'm gonna hook one with the camera. We're gonna hook one. We gotta hook one with the camera. Oh, oh, it's so close. Broke the camera. Oh no. That beat to the camera <laughs> messed up the gimbal, but we're back. All right, let's fix this. We're still crooked. Gimbal repaired, I think we're good. If you're just joining, please hit that like button, consider subscribing. We're only halfway through this parade. We're hanging out at Universal Studios, Orlando, Florida. We still got 10 more days of Mardi Gras. This is an amazing, I really do love. I think Universal Entertainment's really set their game up over the years. I was always a Disney guy, but man, Universal is growing on me. I love it. Hello, Susan, great to see you. Andrew says, the way Pete goes through gimbals are by stock in the company. I do go through about two a year. It's, it's 400 bucks to the company every year. This is a fun float. Got another one. They're going with the camera. This is what's going on right now. We got a few raindrops hitting us, but I think we're good. the queen
Amen. Off the elbow. So my strategy last year was to go deep. I'm on the float to throw beads the very last day of the festival, April 7th. And I like to pick people. I like to go deep. Look at these fun outfits. So many Sebastians. Love the croc costumes too. Here is your last load of the parade, but we're gonna see the parade coming back. So you get to see the whole parade again in five minutes. But here's King Croc. Now we go from this side to that side. We got a good view of them coming down the street. So the beauty of coming to Mel's drive-in corner is you get the view of the parade twice. Here's that first float we missed, but they're all going to come right at us this way. Again, we're over 100 people hanging out. Only 74 likes. Please hit that like button. We're trying to hit 100. Let's do it. Make that magic happen. YouTube gives us a lot of love at 100, and it makes me so happy. So please, if everyone just does it right now, it would be amazing. And you have a little bit of time before the parade comes our way. While we're waiting here, actually, if you love Mardi Gras, you love Disney, you love Universal, the theme parks, and you want some of this amazing merch, maybe you're not here to get it yourself, or some collectible things from Universal. I mean, Universal, an obvious, gigantic movie company with so many iconic movies and souvenirs and autographs. Go to SJG3 Collectibles. You can search them in the eBay stores. 
you can just go to the site, SJG. Uh, go to the eBay stores, ebay.com backslash str backslash sjg3collectibles, or go follow them on Twitter at sjg3solcol. I can't even spell SJG sjg3col. Sorry, I'm reading the chat, looking across the way to tell people to come up behind me that I have a good spot. But I got to give them love because yesterday we lost our live stream after two hours without me giving them love and. They support the channel, so please support them. Big shout out to our Patreons. Thanks to everybody here who's watching, who's hit the like button, who's subscribed. I love you all. Here comes part two of the parade, or should I say the parade all over again, but we got this great view here. Check our description for all of those links. Plus, you can follow me on my socials. All those links are down there. But what you can do while watching, which is really easy besides clicking the description, is just liking and subscribing. That is the blessing. We are about 50 people away from 9,000 subscribers. We're doing nine hours straight live stream. And when we hit 10,000, we're 24 hours straight at Walt Disney World. It's going to be crazy. Here we go. Come on, everyone, help me out. We got 100 people watching, 79 likes. We can get 11 likes before this parade ends. Let's go. I need you. This is the launch station. You got to get them on the slide. Get them on the slide. On the slide. That's a good toss. A lot of them just coming up three or four feet short. Launch them. I would move where we could catch beads, but beads are not important. Look at these views. We are looking right down the block. This is Hollywood Boulevard right here. Look at this beautiful man right here. Oh my God, I love you. Shout out to Avion right there. It's my boy. I have known him for I guess now, wow, it's crazy to say the last four years in Orlando. We met uh, during the Bay Lake Bowler phase when we were playing basketball with team members and cast members. I organized a basketball game that grew from three people to 20 something team members and cast members. Then everybody went back to work and now I miss him. But Avion's the man, he works every HHN, Mardi Gras. He's gonna be a big shot at Universal one day, mark my words. You gotta really launch them. Deep, go deep. Hello, Silicon Dave in the house. Mr. Dave, what's up? Ben B says, I just got off work. My type of vibe. Time to crack a beer and enjoy with you guys. I love it. Happy to hear you're enjoying it. Felix Gomez says, good evening. ABC, Pete, the mods, and everyone else in chat. Always good to be back at the beautiful Universal Orlando. Thanks so much, Felix. Colleen in the house. Colleen dropping the links for everybody. Thank you. Co Colleen is our queen. She's our Mardi Gras queen. Thank you so much for dropping the links in the chat. Pat Mix 75 is here. David Thomas is here. What's going on, BU? Oh, oh that's a good toss. Why don't I hit my feet? Hey, now. 
They look wonderful. Pretty close. Someone said, and I'm so sorry I know how to pronounce her name, Manya. So say something in Russian, and the only Russian terms I know, I dated a Russian girl for a little bit, are all inappropriate. And I don't want to get dinged. I do know some Russian, but there are none of the terms that are good for universal and Disney family fun. But look how awesome these floats are. I agree. Uh, Silicon Dave says all the floats are quality. I was quite impressed uh, the last time I saw this. All the floats are amazing. I'm, this is one of the best parades in Orlando, for sure. We got 112 people watching, only 87 likes. We're trying to hit 100. ASAP. So if every single person watching right now hits that like button, it's easy on a laptop or a computer or a cell phone. Just tap that little thumbs up. If you're on a TV, you might have to hit up or down, but everyone, please hit that like button. We're just trying to hit 100. That's when the magic happens. Help me out. Happy Mardi Gras. Thank you for being here with us tonight. Hope you're having a great Wednesday and a great week. I love you all. Here comes the heat. We went from the cold to the heat. out launch him that's a good launch she launched it I'm getting hit with beads left and right left shoulder right shoulder arm there's a bead toss We're 10 likes away from 100. Let's go. I love you. I'm sorry to keep saying it, but we can do it. We can do it. But thank you for hanging out with me. Happy Mardi Gras. 
Happy Wednesday. I am so grateful you're here with the, there's so many other YouTube options, but you're here and I appreciate it and I love you. So thank you so much. Everybody who's ever subscribed or subscribed today or hit the like button, thank you so much. Look at this. Oh my gosh, we have a God amongst us. You're told not to throw overhand, but you have to sometimes. I got two by my feet, but they're gone now. These kids around me are cleaning up. That guy knows how to toss. Here they come, here they come. Fist bump, fist bump, fist bump, fist bump. What's up, D'Lo? D'Lo said, wow, D'Lo helped me out. I said, hi, everyone watching. Thanks for being here. Please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thanks so much, D'Lo, for being my little... D'Lo's always our, my amped up crowd. King and Queen are back, which means after this float, we got the grand finale. Hey now, hey now. There goes the king and the queen into our final float of the night. Oh no. We're only seven likes away from hitting 100 before this parade ends. Let's go. We got 112 people watching. If everyone just hits the like button right now, magic can happen. The goal's 100. We could do it before this parade ends. Just a few away. Ooh, 
two. I just got two in the ankle. Oh, I got you, I got you. Try to help him with the gates. There you have it. Another amazing Mardi Gras parade here at Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. They bring the energy. I love it. And the good news is tonight they don't close right now. Normally after the parade they just shut it down. We got another hour and change in the parks, which is so much fun and exciting. Maybe we'll do a show, go on a few rides, learn some fun facts. Look at you, you got a lot of beads, huh? Phenomenal Brandy is here. Look at all those beads. Feet, don't fail me now. <laughs> no, I give a lot of them out. I, I bring some in and I hand them out. I want to learn, there's like, you know, because we do the bracelet trade at Halloween Horror Nights and stuff now. People are like making stuff out of these beads and then giving them to team members. There are. I have a friend who turned her shirt into a bead shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a girl that had made a dress that had like a, like, you know, yeah. like you make like a tool. It's so it cool. I have a question for you. Where is the nearest restroom to here that I could hit real quick? Maybe a little opera visit is behind Mel's? The best? To the left? No, no, no. To the right? Or which direction are we going next? I would go to the Transformers one. The one that's All right. between like us and Over the here. Yeah. Where are you headed next? I put mom back at the table. We have okay. an NBC Grill reservation at 8.30. Oh, nice. My, my crew probably is pretty close to done. I figured. No, I'm we're good. I'm with a tween and a 60s. No, you have a whole... So, yeah, I got a whole gamut. I was going to say, you have a little bit of everything going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, although Ryan did say he was going to... Uh, he just parked. He's making his way back into the park. Oh, okay. Um, do you yeah, want... Do you want to... I was going to say, do you mind? Yeah, do you want to do some fun things? I'll be right back. I'll watch Ryan Opper. Uh-oh, guys, you got me. You got me. Who else in the chat? Y'all hit me up. I'll try to find something moderately interesting to look at. Hey, Silicone Dave. Where are my crew at? What up, Austin Drew? <laughs> I have a hi. I don't have y'all on here. Oh, you want to be on here? Look, my niece got the beads. Dang, you got the hookup. She got all of them on it. It looked like one of those scarves. It looked like a scarf? Yeah, it was so big. We got double beat action tonight, folks. What up, Alyssa Stenberg? What up, Colleen the Queen? What up, Dawn? <laughs> hey, what time is it? What time is it, chat? Who knows? It's 8. Okay, we don't have a... We are going to have to scooch out eventually. I got to take my mama to dinner. Oh, I know something cool we could go look at. Oh, I'm super bad on the gimbal, guys. I'm so sorry. What up, New York, Pat? Okay, so everybody knows that Disney just dropped their uh, new drone show coming to Disney Springs. Universal's working on a little something up their sleeve for summertime, too. We might be getting a parade. But I thought I'd walk down here and show you guys the lagoon construction. Because the word on the street here at UO is that we're getting a brand new lagoon show. And they had the platform race today. That you can see the infrastructure of stuff. So if you're... Uh, lagoon update. Pat Mc75, we got a lagoon update. I repeat, we got a lagoon update. If you do come for a lagoon show, highly recommend actually watching it from the Central Park area here. 
Um, you can see it from the backside in San Francisco, but you don't get the good full view with the water cannons and everything. And we don't know really what the new show is going to entail. So highly recommend staking out an early spot, but getting it on this right hand side over here in the central park area here. But yeah, look at all this stuff. Look at all the nozzles and tubes, I guess. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what it takes to run a nighttime spectacular. I really don't. Does anybody remember when they had the boat show in this lagoon or am I the oldest woman on the earth? I'm old, I'm from back in the 1900s, so. Look at the Ghirardella building over there too. Isn't that looking so pretty? Really, really cool stuff. So if you are in our Discord, Adventures by Carney on Discord, highly recommend. We're pretty fun over there. We all help each other out with trip planning stuff and all of that. But you may know the legend of the Lord's Hush Puppy. And I'll show you guys a menu over here that you can check out. Thanks for posting those links, Queen Colleen. We love to see a queen. This was a sleeper pick booth for me, guys, but honestly, probably my favorite booth here. How do I move this way? Here we go. There's a menu for you guys. They don't even have a picture, but this little gym right here, Mootsin. They're so good, y'all. That's the Lord's Hush Puppy. That's the Lord's Hush Puppy. And this booth is, this was like the Mel's to go booth no we're not an epcot but this is the beer garden this is the beer garden so you saw parade floats by kern studios but really they have so much decor out here for the mardi gras season every square inch of this park is just filled with lovely props, all kind of themed stuff. I think our hero has returned. <laughs> no, it's not really called the Lord's Hush Puppy. We just lovingly call it the Lord's Hush Puppy. I'm down the street, I'm not that way. The shrimp girl's amazing, isn't she? Mom, can I put you on camera if Joe doesn't want to be on camera? Come on, Mom. All right, guys, this is my mom for mom and we for mom. Her real name is Dawn. Which like we our, love all Dawns. I know we love all. Well, this is a celebration of all Dawns. Yes. Honestly, all right, Mom. First day at Universal since I was like a tiny child. Really, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, and your first Mardi Gras parade. And you've been a trooper today. We've walked a lot, and we've so really covered a lot of ground. Here or like, you guys I, have heard, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I wasn't already told for any, like, you know what? I had two, three good Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get. So what do you think, Mom? What do you think about your day here? Yeah, the, the, absolutely amazing. I agree. So mom was intimidated by Universal coming into this just because she felt like there's really just not as much information out there. Do you think it's scary now or do you think this is easier? Um, I think it's a lot easier and a lot more like that. The vibe is cool. Well, I, I was saying this earlier is that I think they have more uh, during Up. the pandemic. A lot of Disney cast members came over here. Yeah, and there's a lot more just entertainment and like a great vibe. Yes, I think and it's so not too. nearly as, I'd say, congested or busy. Like, there's yeah. no Genie Plus here yeah. uh, or things like that. Somewhere. Letting, you know, really cool photo ops for people without, you know, standing in a queue. And all yeah. yeah, when we came in at Hollywood, like, Betty Boop was out, Beetlejuice, Marilyn, Scooby-Doo, Homer and Marge, like. I know you're young. You know who Marilyn Monroe is? 
Mom even knew who the comic strip cafe people and stuff were. Yeah. So. <laughs> So yeah, so I th I think that uh, I think that UO kind of gets a bad rap for like being the teenager park. Yeah, I think it's building up. Well, I still say it's a teenager or an adult park. Yeah. yeah I wouldn't say it's like uh, I don't know if you want to really bring your little ones here, especially since the little ones area is being refurbished. True. I think once the trolls and stuff gets open, though, I think this is going to be a destination oh, spot for family. Outside. Maybe even like I'd say like seven and older, probably still like the young family vibe is Disney and everything else. But they're really doing a great job. Obviously, you can tell their infrastructure is great. They're doing new rides, new parks. Mm -hmm. They care about the experience, the guest experience. Also, look how many beats he's walking out with. She can open a store. Yeah. <laughs> so many beats. Oh. <laughs> a, a flavor flav. I don't know if you don't get the reference. Yeah. Right. She has more, but she's in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 yeah, you have uh, around 70 pairs of beads around here. It's a lot. It's a lot. I try to never go no more than this, and once I do, I hand them out to the children. Yeah, I don't like them on my neck either. I stack them up on my arm like like my, like candy at EDC or something because I like a bracelet. Like, but. Oh, that guy's got a bare neck. <laughs> 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 So yeah, I, so I think the moral of the story is here, like, don't be intimidated by this if you haven't been in a long time. And it's more all ages than it than it advertises itself to be. And it does better than I thought it would. Like, I was thinking yeah. adults, and who are they? And, the, and Mardi Gras is a great time to come, too. I mean, HHN, I think, scares more people. They think it would be scary. Highly recommend HHN, 10 out of 10. It's the best <laughs> That, I would say, is definitely uh, teenage and older. Do not bring your small children to HHN. But it doesn't mean you can't come here during the day. You won't have that HHN experience during the day if you're bringing your family here. You can still do things. Yeah. We don't have an HHN parade. Well, there was one, like, a million years ago, but not anymore. The new parade coming for the summer is, like, kind of under wraps still. We do have it confirmed that there probably is going to be a Ghostbusters unit because the sale of the Ecto-1 leaked on the internet. So, they have a new Ghostbusters mobile. They have a new Ecto-1 that they've just purchased. And we're pretty sure that that's going to be one of the parade units. Because I think it's going to be where they're focusing a lot on new properties, minions, trolls, that kind of stuff. I think they're really going to hit us with a lot of the good throwback classic stuff. With the parade and the you lagoon can also show. See that in the new park where I think they're realizing what the people want. Uh, yeah, sure. And also, I'm not saying taking a page of Disney's book, but maybe Disney's doing too much new, where they know that people love the old stuff. Like when you go to Disney, you still want to see Snow White, Cinderella. Yeah. So we love the classic, and it's in the new Universal. In their brand new Epic Universe, there'll be a whole villain's land and, and right. monsters. And, uh, had a and all these other Super games. Mario. Can't wait Mario. for Nintendo. I I really Universal has grown on me tremendously over the last few years. Yeah. Especially since the pandemic. Sure. And the way they booked up team members that were cast members. That's what I was telling Mom earlier. Who came here? I mean, I'm not sure. Did you see the Harry Potter land? Yes. But again, like so gorgeous. But a lot of that uh, when they canceled the area at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Those Imagineers were hired here to help build. Yeah, I told her the whole story. I'm like, and then Disney lost the contract, and then here they are. And that's how Islands of Adventure is so well-themed and so just that's like sculpturally gorgeous. So that's exactly land. what she said. Yeah. The, the point. And I went, this is beautiful. It yeah. doesn't feel like you're walking into a Six Flags or another. I, I don't want to speak down on any of the theme park, yeah. but... They're building it up, and now with Epic Universe, the, everything we've seen looks amazing. Oh, I totally agree. I can't wait. I We're can't wait. To get on the media list. My scare, my my fear for Epic Universe though is that we are going to be blacked out as pass holders. We're probably going to get a pass holder preview, and then they're probably going to black us out a couple of months to let it. Why? To, they want to. I mean, it, there's a lot of new technology and stuff going into that park. I think they're going to want to work the kinks out of. But they have to premiere this Sunday. That's true. That's true. I think we'll get a preview period. If you think they're going to work out kinks, they're obviously going to do media first. Right. 
So it's got to be good enough for media, and then which means it's good enough for pass holders. Mm -hmm. I think they're also going to, I mean, I don't wish this upon my worst enemy, but I think we could also be looking at virtual queues for stuff there. I think probably Mario Kart is probably going to end up with one. I think the Monsters Ride is probably going to end it's up with be, one. I mean, it's going to be a zoo the first year. Yeah. Look, what up, yeah. hey, baby? So when's the parade start? <laughs> Rhode Island Ride in the house. I struck down the street in 15 minutes. Oh, thank God. Yeah. Look at that great tank. It, it's fitting better. Uh oh. Than uh oh. I know. I hear the 6 a.m.'s running well for y'all. My arms are. Oh, no. <laughs> That's good. My whole body hurts. Everything. No, it's just my arms. Just your arms? I told it's Pete, not a leg day? No, I told Pete specifically that my triceps hurt, and then every single movement worked my triceps. At least you don't have a lot of hair to wash. That's the worst after arm day for a girl is you have to go wash your hair afterwards and then you're like... Oh, I don't have a lot of hair to wash? Ryan's yeah. <laughs> got hair. Ryan's got hair. Pete's, Pete's the one with short hair. I did an arm day burn boot camp and that first, that was my very first one. And I was like, oh, this is cake. And then I went to wash my hair and drag it home. And I was like, oh, yeah, we feeling it well, now. Ryan, I were talking about that today is that when you leave the gym, Ryan said that sometimes he's got glasses on. But you got to do a two harm anything for your face. Yeah. <laughs> to wash your hair. Yeah, yeah. It's, Here, it's, uh, I'll show know. on the camera. So this is what we're talking about. If he's got to take his glasses off, he's got to go like this. Or like he <laughs> me sometimes in the shower to wash my hair. I'm like. Yeah, yeah it needs a little boost. Yeah. Rhode Island Ryan, this is my mom. Hello. Yeah, this is Rhode Taking Island Ryan. Taking the by Carney uh, debut week. Two streams this week. Yeah. She's gonna be popular. I can feel it. You're gonna be a yeah. spinoff character in the universe now, Mom. Do you have your own channel? Or yeah. <laughs> uh, the one thing that my mom does want to promote is if you have a pet at home, please spay or neuter. Mom is real big on animal activism stuff, so she's gonna give the Bob Barker of please spay and neuter your cats and dogs at home. I like it, yeah. That would be your plug, Mom. Did you like that? Okay. <laughs> That's perfect. I am so tired of wearing. Yeah. True. True. Yeah, I mean, it's I'm tired of wearing cat jackets. I just want to go back to cotton. <laughs> I thought we were all, I thought it was going to be cats. Uh, like, I thought it was jellical cats is what I thought. I thought you were Rum Tum Tugger. I didn't know. I didn't know this whole time. Do you think if you wear a cat coat, it just also scares people away like cats do? Like, yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I think I would be scared if I saw someone walking down the street wearing several cats. <laughs> I know Pete doesn't get this reference, but I'm thinking of the old lady in The Simpsons that just has like the cats like around her and like yeah. <laughs> Boston Dawn says Amen. She's she's an animal lover too. Boston Dawn is. So I mean, I make a lot of jokes. If you're new to the channel, I come from a background in comedy, so these are just jokes. I love people, animals. I am a lover of all living. In oh, T3, we did get Jesus' hush puppies today, and I did give one to Mom. Oh my God. Mom, what's your review on the Mootsin, Jesus' it's, hush puppy? Uh, it's my grandmother's lemon pound cake fried in a ball, and it is amazing. That's it's so good. It's yeah. so good. Mutsen. Hey, if you haven't had Germany, it's my favorite booth this year. It's so good. Everybody's talking about Mexico, but nobody's talking about Germany. Hey, they have currywurst. It's good. It's good. It's like in the sauce with like sauce. So I don't know, like sausage bits. Yeah, y'all have at it. We're going to peace out for tonight. Thanks for hanging out with me, Chad. I got to take mom to dinner. She's had a long day. I trekked mom through three theme parks in two days. She's over me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I wasn't there for that. So. Yeah, you've been going hard. I got to watch the, the marching band on the live stream. I saw that. What'd you think? It's pretty. I love, I love marching band. Pretty big band. Were you in band? No. No. No, I just like looking at it. Yeah. Um, it's like one of the largest in the country. Metallica literally voted them the, the best marching band in the country. 350 people? Um, they run 350 in the band, and then our guard has about another 100. Okay, so, so 450. Yeah. My graduating class was 24. 
Wow, you didn't even have that was and that was the whole state of Rhode Island actually. Yeah. Did did you I'm all they, they gave you a diploma yeah, and a coffee meal? I get too upset with those because <laughs> it sounds like your entire high school is the Main Street Philharmonic. <laughs> well, we were the half that called out that. Oh, my bad. My bad. <laughs> they, I felt so bad. Like, I don't know why I'm feeling bad for them because they're amazing. But, like, you have a 450 person group march down the Magic yeah, Kingdom. As and then behind, the street. they send they 12 so instrumentalists. Tall. I saw the Megan Flash Mob, Felix. It was so cool. And they weren't even marching. They were just, they're a moving band, not a marching band. A moving band, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, our our kids are in formation. Oh, yeah, no. I, we went full plume, too, so they were sweaty. Oh, I, they were not happy the second I got Hope's dirty laundry in a bag this morning, and it was fun. Did you, I hope you washed it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm making her put all that back on when we get back to the house. Like, <laughs> get the plume I out. I have rules once Lauren's already going to the gym like once or twice a day. I'm like, you're going, there's no more hamper in our bedroom. <laughs> Machine, that's where you put your clothes. Like, especially since y'all have one in the unit. Like, oh no, I'm like, stop putting this in our wall pamper. We had to have, it was like, that was on my list. I'm like, I'm not buying a place that doesn't have an in unit washer. Yeah, that's what we're very lucky. Colleen Kidder says she needs to get more coffee syrup. She loves coffee milk. Oh, absolutely. You always need more. I've never had it. I gotta try this. What? Uh, coffee syrup. For coffee milk, now. not milk coffee like I called it the other day. That was my bad. So what is this coming from? I don't remember this. Okay, so it's the state drink of Rhode Island. Coffee milk is the state drink of Rhode Island. <laughs> coffee syrup. And it is coffee syrup. So like, think like a uh, chocolate. Yes, Boston Drew, bring us one. Bring us one. We'll have it at the cookout in April. Milk. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, actually, maybe milk there would be a bad call, but we could still have it. We'll try it. Oh, we're gonna add a few more things. We could do almond milk schedule. Yeah, sure. Almond milk, I almond coffee milk. A few things that we have to build into the schedule, but it's yeah, on the sure. Side of okay. Click all five soon. No, I didn't put that either. But yes, that's it. Okay. I had more. Um, well, you'll see. Okay. I don't even know these things, so. <laughs> No, I just go through the schedule because I love everyone signing up. So again, if everyone doesn't know, uh, April 18th through the 21st, we're doing our Adventures by Carney meetup weekend. Again, there's no sign up or fee. We, we there's a sign up on our website, but it's free, right? Yep. Sign up for it's just yep. an RSVP. It's just an RSVP, so we know you're coming. Uh, but all we ask that you pay for what you're doing. So if we're going to a park. You already have a pass. You're good. And we're, we're going to do like a fireworks cruise, which we already have two book, two book boats full. Boats, we have boats, three boats. spots available is all we have left. I don't even think we have those because I don't know. I don't have the list on your list, but I have a lot of people who said they were in for that, which I don't know if you have. We, you might, we might be full then. So we guys get a third book. But other things, uh, barbecues, um, I did answer the list. We're going to be doing the Shoddy Awards. Nice. Supporter helper, uh, helper of the Year. Brandy won last year. Nice. Um, also the... Well, I added other things. It's on the page. Yeah, well, look. go to our Discord and go to the website, adventurebycarney.fun. And please, uh, if you're in town, whether you're a local or you're visiting, we'd love to see you. Handing it off. Right. See you, crew. We will see a lot of Brandy coming up in April. Yeah. Yes. And uh, thanks for all the fun facts tonight. Brandy is our uh, universal expert. I very much enjoyed uh, listening while I was stuck in traffic on my way here. Was it bad? I for Ross. I no, I four was empty. bad for me. No, it was rough empty. for me. One ninety two was uh, stand -stand. I hit I hit the worst timing on one ninety two. Uh not one ninety two. I four. What normally takes me twenty minutes to get here took me forty five. No, four twenty nine would have been five minutes slower and cost me two dollars. Oh, okay. Well, I if there's always a faster route, I don't care about the money. But if it's the same route, I'm obviously I'm going economical. Well, you don't have a, you don't have I do have a new car. They do have one. It still costs me money. But they add up real fast. It adds up fast in Florida, though. Yeah, I know. My total for the, since the first of the year is up to like 300 bucks in just tolls. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where are yeah. you driving to, dude? I drive all the time all over the place. Yeah, that's true. I also drive for a living. Like, that's I don't, true. I have to pay enough of those as, as is. Yeah. Yeah. Also, just going to the airport is like a few bucks each way. Oh, yeah. it's like going down hours. anywhere. Unless I'm going to literally just Disney or Universal, I got to go on toll roads. All right, let's go try some weird foods.
Um, I won't see you, but it was so nice meeting you. Pizza hug or hug. Yeah, I'm sorry. I gotta give you a hug. Yeah. It was so nice meeting you. Obviously, like I told you earlier, your daughter's amazing. Even her daughter's amazing. What a chain of events. I know, right? Wild. And we love Brian too. What a sweetheart. Big cuddly yeah, teddy bear food. The airport early, and then his I know. flight ended up delayed. No. He took one for the team too. He took an Uber. Great. So. Uber from here is not bad though. Like that's okay. Uh, from Champions Gate to Sanford. Oh no! I thought he left from here. I thought he came here. No, he left from the con. Oh well, the that house. is a ridiculous Uber. He should have just yeah. left from here. Um. By the time we got here, he was only going to be here like an hour or whatever. Plus, he had his luggage. Well, I'm so how were we going to val? Like, it was like a whole deal. He was tired anyway. Like, all right, we'll, we'll fair enough, fair enough. Day. I feel like I should have just taken him. I feel bad at this point. No, but. no worries, no worries at all. Actually, all right. <laughs> I know you went to St. Augustine today. <laughs> go eat food. I'm all right, we're gonna go try some Mardi Gras food. Good night to the whole phenomenal clan. All right, we're going Germany. Your money. We do still have about 10 days left of Mardi Gras, but what you're going to see me about to ask for is a little hack which does work really well. But we're going to find out here at the beer garden. Let's do it. What's going on, friends? So I have a question. I heard you guys have this awesome Mardi Gras gift card package. Look at that. And I can buy that, I get a discount on that, then I get to reuse it, and it's discount on everything too. So I have this, so this is a $150 card. You yeah. get it for 120 if you have an annual pass. And this is a $75 gift card for $65. So and this is for anybody. So this one is for annual pass holders. I'm the annual pass holder, so that's what I'm talking about. So for everyone, we're live, and you're explaining it well. Yeah, so, all right, talk about this the first gift card. Go ahead, talk about it. So this card is $150, or you can get for $120 if you're a team member or an annual pass holder. Love it. And it works in food for all the Mardi Gras crew. It works for regular crew. It works even in IOA. And it's been an expiration date, so you can use it right now. You can use it all the way to HHN. I love that. And then also, I was told you could use that, and you still get your AP discount again when you use it. That's amazing. So, I'm going to do one of those. And then I'm going to order food and use the gift card for the food. That's all right. What do you want, Ryan? Food or drink-wise? Anything here catching your fancy? Just so you know, for beer right now, since we're about to close, we only have the Anger beer and the Wahai stuff now. All right. Celebrator. So here they have the chicken schnitzel, a fried uh, crispy chicken thigh served with uh, mustard and lemon wedge. The kaspetzel, a cheese spatzel topped with crispy onions. The curry worst, crispy chicken bra worst sliced and topped with a spicy curry ketchup. Uh, Bavarian pretzels, the Mutzen, which is a fried uh, lemon that's vanilla what fritter. Is saying yeah. have to get. I think that's the one she wanted. I'm not a dessert guy, but if you like it, I'll uh, I'll get some things. I was going to get a beer just because I'm having. Well, that's the only beer that you can get right now. It's, it's just the celebrator? No, I thought there was two beers left. We only have the Iyengar beer and the Wahad Stack left. And the oh, so the vice beer and the celebrator. All right, there's still two. There's still oh, two. Two. I do like a, a vice beer, so I'm gonna go for the you vice, do beer. Like a vice yeah. beer. I do like it. All right. So, where I, I'm good. I'm in there. Uh. Sure, I'll take one. It's harder to lose. No, no, no. I'm going to put the card in my wallet, but I'll take the lanyard so I can give it away to somebody else. We have a, a bunch of fans. I like to just mail things out to people. Yeah. You're like a free version. Everyone's wants to throw like some collectors. fun stuff thing. Yeah, I like to throw some fun things in there. So 120. And how much is that worth? It's worth $150. Oh, baby, let's go. All right. And I'm going to hand it back to you because I'm going to order some food. All right, so I think we should try the... Mutsen. Well, is there one food... All right, so you want to do the Mutsen? I mean, I'm most interested in that. But... 
This is what Brandy has been talking about for three hours. All right, let's do those two. Can we do the Mutsin and the Currywurst? And then I'll do the Vice Beer, please. It's just in the mood for something spicy. That's it. They said spicy curry ketchup, and I said that's So I'm not your pass holder. Do have to see that again? Here's an annual pass for you to look at. You can see that. I knew where mine was. Oh, he's got to scan it. Oh, you, he has to scan it. Oh, okay. There you go. Look at we have that. the same tier annual pass. It doesn't matter. I thought the lanyard was collectible, but I'll save this for somebody else. Oh, they do beer flights too? We should have done the beer flight instead. I think that uh, closing the beer flight is the issue. Oh, okay. There you go. Here's how much you have left. Amazing. Oh, yeah, this is a beer flight. It contains three of our beers. It's alright. The great for one, everyone knows to go to Epcot, Germany for that. Yeah. Yeah, it is just the shopper house. It's the same thing, the grapefruit wrap, yeah. I have no idea. Epcot. Epcot Germany has the uh, grapefruit on year round. But it's a good beer and everyone loves it. It's also low ABV, so if you want to maintain, you know, some of your Very refreshing. <laughs> yeah. Hydrating. Look at that, so we saved $30 on an annual pass. And then and on top of it, even more. And then tonight we save another three dollars on our purchase. Ooh, there's the mutton. Ooh, these look delicious, and they're warm. We got thirty-three bucks, and we saved another three bucks, so thirty-three dollars in savings. Another register's open if you guys want. Down there. What time does the park close tonight? Nine. Ten? Nine. Nine? Ten on the other side. Ten nine, nine, ten on the other side. Oh, okay. Well, we'll work on nine because that's where our little Mardi Gras stuff is. Yeah. But these are warm. Yeah, they look good. I can feel the, the warmth. Here, while we're waiting for the other dish, let's do that. Oh, these are going to ruin our nice uh, black... No, let's do it right now. Come on, let's go for it. We got some matching tanks tonight. Oh. All right, go ahead, get in there. So this is the Mutsin, recommended by Phenomenal Brandy. It is the fried lemon vanilla, which I love lemon and vanilla. Uh, lemon vanilla fritter with a powdered sugar. All right. Mm -hmm. Even with the powdered sugar, it's not blow your top off sweet. That is one of my favorite desserts ever. Because it's got the, the lemon takes it down a notch. Little lemon, little vanilla, and it keeps it light. It's a very light fritter. Kudos to the chefs. They don't get enough appreciation back here. Yeah, these are fantastic. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I was, I know Pete is very adamantly not a dessert guy. These are delicious. I'm not the over-the-top sweet guy. Like, I don't like just eating sugar. So, like, I was worried that these were just going to be like a uh, like a funnel cake kind of sweet. Oh, they're great. I think the lemon cuts that, too. The lemon cuts it so well. <laughs> all right. You take all the food. I'll take everything else. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, where's the utensils over here? Thank you. Yeah, you, you just stack them. Just because, like, that's not a finger food. For sure. Let's, um... Let's go hang out in one of my favorite areas. The alleys of New York. Also because it's getting so much attention. Again, kind of crazy that Nickelodeon documentary on Max. It's nuts. 
But I didn't know. I mean, it's kind of, now I totally see it. They show it. That if you watched all that on Nickelodeon growing up, the intro was filmed right here in the New York area that we're approaching. Yeah, this is where the trampoline factory was. Yeah. And in the alleys, which are my favorite part of this area, too. Uh, it looks like the alleys are closed. No, no, there's some major machinery in those alleys to the right, but we can find some to the left. They've closed this walkway. They gotta destroy it. They can't put it associated with that documentary. Yeah, they're like, we gotta get out of this fast. There's the Rip Ride Rocket, one of my favorite coasters. What a fun New York area, the Kitty Cat Club. Was a reference during one of the HHNs we recently had? Yeah, that was um, Plexi last year, so that was 2021. Yep. Uh, that was actually my favorite house that I've ever done. Really? This yeah. this uh, was cut short too, this alleyway. That was a great house. Finnegan's one of my favorite bars all throughout Universal Orlando. So good. Also, finally, an Irish bar that isn't just a slur. <laughs> you know, it's great. And like we have so many that are like Paddy Wagon and... Uh, yeah. Or just Finnegan's. Yeah. Uh, if you like the Blues Brothers, this is where they put on their shows every single day right here on the street. They used to come around that way, but now with the construction, they come down this street instead. Like Auntie Ann's are here, yeah. We're going to eat over here for a second, but uh, if you've ever seen this palace facade, this is where they filmed a lot of big music videos. Nickelback actually flooded this entire street while the park was closed. They built, you know, obviously faux walls and filmed the Nickelback video right here in front of the palace. Also, Justin Timberlake and the NSYNC crew filmed one of their music videos right here in front of the palace. And you can see still... I believe that this Paradise uh, light-up is uh, featured in other music videos as well. The Paradise Theater right here. So a lot of music videos filmed right here. And we were talking about all that earlier. The all that intro was filmed right over here. In this little alleyway right over here. The trampoline scene and all that growing up right here, sir. There's some fun facts for you. All right. Let's find a place to eat this food. Pony Island. <laughs> yes, you are right. Um, do you see anything where cool we could eat this where I could also rest a gimbal? Uh, yeah, oh, what about over here? Rest a gimbal right there. Yeah, that's not a good background. Let's we need a good what are you back. Talking about? You got the palace in the back. Yeah, but they're open. I don't want to do that. Oh, no, no. How about this? How about this? No, oh, there's a box right there on that box. That's a perfect box. A great it's box. It's a good angle for us, too. It's tall, it's healthy. Yeah, we don't have the double chin angle. Look at these beautiful, I love the alleys back here. Thanks again to everyone who's watched tonight. Hope you're having a great day. Again, so sorry about our stream yesterday. If you missed it, uh, we had an awesome day over Disney's Magic Kingdom. Uh, the stream was cut a little short, but we had over two hours of a lot of fun, including the best marching band in the country, who Metallica voted number one. They were amazing. That was, we didn't, you didn't see Hope on camera. She's behind the cameras kind of gal. But Brandy is uh, her mother, and she's amazing. She is one of the people we love so much here at Adventures by Carney. But it's time to sample some food. By the way, so we let's just talk about some of the food. This Watch out, it rolls. This fritter was so good. Yeah. Mootsen? The Mootsen. But now we are having, what is this again? Currywurst. Currywurst. I'm a little nervous about this. So it's, uh, it's uh, sausage with uh, spicy curry ketchup. All right, here we go. We also got no napkins, which is like a big no-no for me. Mm. So much flavor. I don't know where to start. I'm gonna go start by getting napkin. You talk about it. Oh, okay. This is fantastic. Uh, 
it's uh, so it's natural casing uh, sausage so it's got a little bit of that snap to it um, smothered in curry ke curry ketchup which it's much more of like a tomato sauce than a ketchup it's not as um, thick as a standard ketchup but you get some of that tomato flavor you don't get the sweetness like you do from ketchup um, so it's very um, I believe German style ketchup as opposed to an American style ketchup and uh, it's got a it's got a heat that creeps but it just kind of it sits on the front of your tongue it doesn't stretch the back of your throat which is my favorite kind of heat what are your thoughts on what this so this is a, a, a bit of heat for me i'm more of a sensitive palate i appreciate that the heat stays on the tongue instead of going to the throat though i'm able to do it it's right at my threshold it's nice it's warm I get that warm drop down, but it's good. I wish I had a napkin, because I just don't want it on my lips or throat, because it is warm for me. I'm a, if you're ever wondering like people on the spice scale, I am a whip. So if you are identify with people like me, I'm your guy. And I turn into 11, so we're both ends of the spectrum. Yeah, so you get both ends. This is, um, I would say that it's a, um, I would say it's kind of equivalent to like a Tabasco sauce. Would you say? As a, as on I wouldn't know because I don't put Tabasco sauce on anything. Okay. Tabasco is one of the more mild sauces. It's very approachable. It is not uh, mild. All right, you're learning more about my threshold. Is that Tabasco is not mild to me? But this, all right. So this has, it's a nice spice up front. It's more residual heat as it finishes, which is fine for me. Like right now, I could talk. I just had this. I haven't had it since my beer. Yeah, this there's no, a, there's no runny nose. It's, it's very, it's, it's right at the top of my threshold, and I, I think it's very good. There's a ton of flavor, which is nice because it's not just heat. I'm getting so many other flavors, which is so nice. I was telling them because it's listed as a curry ketchup. Um, it's not like a traditional American ketchup. It doesn't have all that sugar, and it doesn't. It's not as thick. No, very, very it's light. It's much more like a, uh, like a tomato sauce. It's not a tomato sauce. Like not, not like a, not like a spaghetti sauce. I would say it like has a, the consistency of a, let's say, meat sauce or a spaghetti sauce. Yeah. But there's definitely heat. But it's like, uh, oh no, I was just talking about an, the tomato element. No, but this is an awesome. Uh, there is tomato in there. Yeah. But it's. No, we're not putting the tomato sauce category. It is definitely a heated sauce, but it's approachable. So, like, if you're someone who's like can do a mild dressing, or um, yeah, if you can go to like a, if you can have like a standard buffalo wing. Yeah, if you can do a mild or a medium wing, you would really like this. Like a, yeah, it's right at the top of my threshold for not having another sauce to dip it into, but it's I like it. I put it this way, I would do it again. Well, that's better than the last spicy thing that we ate together. Which I did not like. He did not, he really did not like it. I'm um, very honest in my reviews. Here, have half of the Zeppeli with me, or whatever they called it. Okay, I'm gonna take a scoop of this sauce though, because it's delicious. Why don't you put the Zeppeli in it, you might like it. I don't know if I will. That will cool you right down. So yeah, bring over the little thing from Germany. That cooled down my whole mouth. I feel great. Ooh. I just got an even spicier bite. So you're glad that you didn't get that. Yeah, you're scooping the sauce, of course. Well, yeah. You got it. You can't waste a delicious sauce like this. If it's forkable, it's eatable. Put that on a shirt. It's going to be my merch. I would also like to say, so like we were saying earlier, this Palace Arcade Theater has been home to the Nickelback videos 
in sync, and now the Pete Carney live stream videos. We're on the same stage. We're just so as similar. famous as that. So similar. <laughs> I mean, how many people are wearing in sync merch that you've seen tonight? I'm gonna say zero. How many I've people are wearing Pete Carney merch? You're I the AAC too. Actually, number one. Uh, well, not number one. I'm. I'm wearing it, but you were the second person to wear that. I did see someone else wearing it, and I was so excited earlier. Wow. Yeah. Just a random person? Well, someone, I, I, they came up to me when they saw me, but well, they yeah, were but wearing like an a, ABC shirt. Just a just a person that you didn't know was going to be here. It was before here. I went live, and I said, do you want to go live? We want to take a picture? And they were like, no, no, no. We just, we, they said very nice things. It was a, like, I, I started the stream with this, and I always like to start with positivity, but I had a bit of a rough day, so that, like, made me really happy. And then coming in to see Brandy, Yeah, I was Brian, really and the fam. during the workout today. No, you weren't. Brian and I did work out this morning, but. All right, there's more to see and do. We have more Mardi Gras booths to explore. We only have a week left, so, like, we got to do it. Well, technically, like, 10-ish days. If you have not heard, I'm going to be on a float the very last day of Mardi Gras. You should just come and hang out with Mike. Okay. Because Mike just likes to watch the parade, but I'd rather I can't take I can't take a gimbal on the float. They won't I'll let hold me. The gimbal. And last year I did a on float view and it didn't do well because it was edited because I can't be live. It didn't do well, but maybe if I gave you the float and let you just go live the whole time. Yeah, if you just set it up so we're live in the beginning. It's Sunday, but it's a Sunday afternoon. Though. Yeah, that's fine. April seventh. I'm I'm around. I'm flying back from New York that day, too. It's going to be nuts. All right. You want to go eat and drink more things? I would love to eat at least one more thing tonight. Thanks for hanging out with us here at Universal. Please hit that like button. I really appreciate it. Let's go have some fun with this beautiful park. I love the beautiful Me, too. I'm really... Listen, Universal has grown on me so much in the last three years. Oh, absolutely. I used to call it the dark park. I when I was when I first started uh, when I was working for WWNT and I was doing my uh, when we debuted Park Center and we did other debated shows and the podcast and everything else. This is before I moved here, so I had never been to Universal. I'm just like, well, why is there even a reason to go? I love this. I love Disney. And then I came here and I'm like, it's still cool. I came here once and I'm like, it's cool, but I'm like, it's not Disney. So the first but time that I came, the last three years, it's all turned around. So I had good. You got tattooed over at uh, City Walk? Yeah. That's where Brandy got tattooed. We have a whole uh, live stream where it's Brandy getting tattooed. Yeah. It was back in the day when they used to tattoo you in the shop. So, like. Oh, well, they still do. No, 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 no. In the clothing store. Oh. Because I went to the, uh, what is it called now? Something in Heart? Heart and something? Uh, Huntley? Huntley? Huntley and Heart, Heart and Huntley. Heart and Hardy, hardy, hardy. Hardy, hardy, hardy. Hardy, hardy, hardy. Hardy, hardy, hardy. But uh, Brandy was getting her tattoo. We did a live stream here, and we went to watch the beginning, middle, and end, and they were great, too. It's It's been great. I'm big fan. Like, you could even see here, they have a show here during the day. They've really stepped up their game since... Is that the Beat Builders? The Beat Builders, yeah. So here we go. This is the Bloody Mary tent. It's closed, but here you can get Bloody Mary... With a sandwich on top. Look at that. It's got... It doesn't say what's in the sandwich. It doesn't, but it's good enough. It's a piece of chicken and two pieces of bread. A piece of chicken and two pieces of bread. And Louisiana hot sauce. Louisiana. Again, thanks so much for hanging out with us tonight. We are at Universal Orlando or Universal Studios Florida. We are trying out all their Mardi Gras offerings. Before they go away, there's 10 days left. We got to see the parade. A beer review? What do you mean? Uh, The beer that you're drinking. Oh, I'll do a little beer review. This beer's good. It's good? It gets the Pete Hardy thumbs up? Now I have to remember which name. It was from Germany... Here's the Philippines. That's what we got here. They're banchin pihan, rice noodles, sauteed vegetables, pulled chicken, and garlic soy sauce. Sounds good. You have the pandan cheesecake, 
the crispy lumpia. They have lumpia over at Avatar area, which is uh, like cream cheese. I expected this to have alcohol. The boco juice? No, it's like a. It's like a. It looks to me, it sounds like a refreshing, like a gazpacho. Because I think I'm assuming it's a. It's a cold soup. Yeah, I mean it's, it's coconut, coconut water, water, coconut milk, coconut cream, pandan extract, which I don't know what that is. Uh, smoked sea salt. That sounds delicious. Uh, yeah, it's got to be a cold soup. Cup. It's like a gazpacho. Yeah. The budget sounds good, but let's see what else we got going on. Here's the Philippines. I want to see what's going on over here. Thailand. Thailand. The Just green papaya day. salad. A little uh, green curry with chicken. Chicken satay, everyone loves that. I can't have this anymore, but this is delicious. They had a similar drink in Epcot uh, for the festival, I believe, two years ago. I don't know if I'll like it. I mean, it sounds interesting. I might want to try it, but... Uh, I enjoyed it. It's a little sweet, so you probably... Yeah, I like... Although, the, the one in Epcot was vodka-based. This is gin-based, so it might bring a little bit more bitter. Do you want to split one of these chicken satays? Sure. Let's do that because that sounds good at Wagee Moon. Oh, okay. That'll be fun. Well, and they're done. Okay. Well, we're going to just show the menu boards then. Well, they'll show so many. No, but some of them are still open. We still got 10 minutes. Yeah, they're really trying to kick us out of this park. Well, there's also a park map of where the booths are. Are we walking towards more booths or less booths? I don't know. I haven't looked. But here's China. Here's China. Szechuan noodle salad. Ooh, that sounds Spicy delicious. smashed cucumber. Some pod stickers. And again, priced very nicely, but again, we have those uh, the gift card now, so. This sounds fantastic. I love pod stickers. I love pod stickers too, and I love black vinegar. Black vinegar is one of those, you know you're in a fancy Chinese restaurant yeah. when you get it. All right, do you have your app on your phone? Are there any other, are there any other booths this way we should be doing? Otherwise, we should go because I know there's at least like six or seven behind us. I would assume that there's some over. There's two or three, but they're all going to close down and we don't like them. I'm not going to. I don't want to kill time before the park closes. We have 10 minutes, so if we go to the front. We are in San Francisco. What? Uh, no, we should go the other way. We should go to New York. All right, we're going back to New York. Uh, because if you look, it's it's pretty sparse, but there's like 12 in New York. <laughs> so we, uh, never mind. I tried to oh, again. been a problem. Try zooming in, but yes, there's way more up front. Oh, they really, every time you zoom in, it says that there's a problem. Uh, which is, it means can you look stuff. up, can you look up the actual booze on the menu, see which ones you like? Like, what are you into right now? Thanks again, everybody who's watching. Thanks everyone who's the like button. Please subscribe. We are... I believe around 50 subscribers away from 9,000. We're gonna do a nine hour live stream for 9,000. And enough. then- it's making it very difficult for me to use my phone. <laughs> I know, it's, it is raining. When we hit 10,000, we're doing 24 hours straight at Walt Disney World live stream. That doesn't mean like we're gonna sleep and let you watch it. We are doing activities for 24 straight hours. You do not wanna miss it. Make sure you're subscribed. And again, once we hit that 10K mark, we're doing it. If you are in town or you're a local, you want to come hang out, we are doing our Adventures by Carney meetup April 18th through the 21st. Please come hang out. Go to our website, adventuresbycarney.fun. You can see the schedule. You can sign up. It is free. All we ask that you pay your own way. If you have a pass already to the parks, you just come in. We're doing park days. We're doing some dinners. We're doing some excursions. Universal, I know we all complain about the My Disney Experience app. Yeah. Universal is making it really difficult because every I know, both single booth- Both apps are brutal. 
every single booth you would have to click into to look and at the find menu. find out where it is, yeah. And to find out where it is. Well, kind of. Tonight the park does close uh, in eight minutes. Interesting to see what Brazil is. Brazil's in New York. All right, let's go down there. If we can't find any good food, I think we should do one ride before we go. Sure. It's either a couple of good food items or one good ride. We have yeah, eight it minutes. Filter. It says it on the, uh, the saw horses. <laughs> There's so many quick services that I've never been to here. Yeah, same. I feel like I should come do them one day. I'm waiting until uh, <laughs> my lawsuit's done so I could know if I have enough money to do it or not. But there's a lot of fun, especially because they're considered all in the New York area. I would love to come do it. I just want to know if their pasta's any good. Because I don't think I've ever had good themed I'm gonna, pasta. I'm going to make a crazy assumption. And say that it's awful? Yeah. <laughs> ah. But I don't. I'm a positive person. So maybe, just maybe, they figure it out by the time I come. You know what I love about Mardi Gras, though? When they hit the beads on street lights and oh yeah well i love the bead tree that they've kind the of bead to tree is here. great for those who don't know when you leave universal there's two trees on the way back towards your security check-in across the rotating or i guess what what would you call those the, the, moving, walkway? the moving walkways and <laughs> those trees get lit up with beads at the end of the night. All right, so I've done a few of these. These are good, but is this where you want to go? Uh, yeah. So I did that. I'm pretty sure I did everything at that booth, but I'm not sure. I'll go look. Over here. Spain. Ensalada de Pupa. Papitas Bravas. Crema Catalana. I did love the potatoes. I haven't had the pulpo, but I'll try it. It seems interesting. I just don't right, know let's, if it's the end of the let's night. Let's do it. Well, let's, who cares? All right. Anything over there you want to go check those first? I'll look, I'll look How much time do we have? We have five minutes or no? Sweet. Well, that one's closed and that one's closed. All right. That makes our decision real easy. But these are... Yeah, they're both closed. Look ahead. So it looks like our options are narrowed down to Spain Everything or that booth. Delicious. But over there, can you read that? Really? No, 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 no. New Orleans. Oh, I'm just going to look over here quick, but. It's Colombia. I saw Ferris had the Columbia. So it's Ferris approved, which means it's fine. Who knows? Do you want to do the burger or you want to do that booth or both? I didn't really, isn't that closed? No, I'm saying Avenue Eats, I like. Uh, well, yeah, we could try the, the uh, thing. I've had a Colombian burger. There's a place downtown that does Colombian burgers. Lately. I feel like I haven't had this yet so i feel like we got to do it yeah have you had the potatoes or do you want them i've had them they're good but if you want them i'll do it if not no i think we'll be fine with just the yeah let's do ensalada also i kind of i don't know want to try three sangrias is it too late to do the three sangrias or no oh it's fine we want to do the uh Oh, is that the Ensalada de Popo? Oh, she only has two of the three seconds. Oh, so we shouldn't do the flight then. I don't know. Should we do a flight? I don't know. What I don't know what to do. I just wanted to try all of them for the stream because everybody's watching. 
I mean, don't have the, the Rosada, is what she was saying. So all right, we'll just do the Ensalada de Popo. We can, we can come back early one day and do a, like an afternoon eating. I am here for the very last day, so yes. we can we try to hit everything I didn't try. Yeah. And by then, I will have enough for my own gift card. Look at that. You saved another dollar. Dollar 35 saved. So now we're up to $34 saved tonight. Look at that. Saving money left and right. $34 is like a tank of gas. Well, for you, mine's $68. Well, to fill up the uh, what's your What's your favorite sangria? Oh, I'm sorry. Brandy in it. We gotta try them all. We try them all. Thank you so much. All right, let's get some forks for this beautiful. Look at this. Wow. Those are both closed. This one's closing. So what I'm saying is, I know there's two more this way. Another great photo op right here for Mardi Gras. Yeah, it's got the king and queen of Mardi Gras. We're here in the Central Park area of Universal Studios, Florida. At this one? Yeah. We are here for one more night, the very last night. Oh yeah, I've had this. The crawfish, this is both great. I've had the boil, the etouffee, and the category five. They're all brought, they all brought them back because they're so good. I mean, how can you do, how can you do Mardi Gras without a shrimp gumbo? You're not wrong. Seems criminal. Over here, more desserts, beignets, an espresso martini. And a mini king cake, which I hear is Ooh. not as good as the uh, last year's. All right. And then Puerto Rico. Where are my boricuas? What is good over here? Or is it all done? Pasta long, a layered casserole. That's it? You're done? Well, I'm not sure. If you're done, you're done. Do we want anything out of here or are we good for now? It's okay. Uh, we can always come back yeah, and we do, can come back. We're, we're going to be back for the very last night of Mardi Gras. Yeah, we'll, we'll you guys shut it down. Local, Thank so you. Yeah. Enjoy your night. We appreciate it. All right. We'll have our last Mardi Gras food item. This popcorn smells so good at Papanana. Fresh popcorn. I don't want to be overly negative, but I believe that Disney has a popcorn superior Oh, well, yeah, Disney popcorn is so good. I would say that Universal popcorn is for the smell, not for the enjoyment. I mean, the smell, it did smell. Also, I believe that this one has banana popcorn, which is weird. All right, here we go. Remember what we ordered? Yeah, it's, I know it's, it's a octopus salad. An octopus salad with a bunch of uh, fun stuff. Yeah, I don't it's like spill octopus any of it. ceviche. I don't want to spill any of it. I'm just try to keep it off the table. That is so fresh. Very cold still. Yeah, very cold. Which is what you want in a dish like this. That is so good. It's so fresh and... It's a ceviche in a cup that's still really, really good. I'm shocked by this. It's, yeah, it's very fresh. It's, it's, that's, that's the best word that I can use to describe it. 
this is, I don't think they say this just for us, but this is so delicious. The octopus has a fantastic texture, it's not too chewy. It's got a good amount of lime. I know Pete and I have very adamantly said that we are giant fans of seafood. This is a very good seafood dish. Um, octopus is something that I grew up eating, both cold in like a ceviche style, but also cooked. You don't get any of the, the toughness. Um, it is it is still a firm lobster. I mean, not on lobster. Uh, octopus still firm, obviously, because. Um, Octopus is always very firm, but it's um, not chewy, it's not uh, rubbery at all. It's very, very delicious. It's got a lot of uh, lime flavor, but it's not overpowering. And then it's uh, almost in like a... Uh, like a salsa, but not, not with heat. Let me try and find a bite. shut things down, they really shut things down. This entire restaurant had no napkins. I went back to the booth we went to, gone. All the other booths gone. The popcorn booth, which by the way, the closer you get, the better it smells. Smells even better. It smells incredible. This poop was, uh, I mean, it just tastes so good. There it is. So it's a traditional Spanish salad with octopus, fresh herbs, tomatoes, cucumbers, paprika, and sherry vinegar. So good. And by the way, I love you, Lance, for bringing back uh, cooking with Carney this week. Oh, how exciting! I, well, I should say if everything works out, but yeah. Uh, and for eight ninety nine. That's While delicious. it is That's small, it's fantastic, and octopus is expensive. Mighty, and packed with so many delicious elements. This is so good. Sorry, I just realized I left my pork in there. I thought we were sharing one. Mm. And I was saying, like, there's no, there's no rubberiness to the, the octopus, which oftentimes you get in cheaper so octopus. So good. While we eat this, let's catch up with some chat. Also, before we catch up with chat, let's shout out your wonderful channel sponsor. Of course, once again, we didn't do it yesterday because, the, you mean, I could have used it. Yesterday, we were in a whirlwind. I was going to do it, and then uh, the stream kind of came to an end, so I'm very sorry. We, a, we have a, bit, a lot of things going on behind the scenes. But SJG3 Collectibles, absolutely amazing. Go check them out, ebay.com backslash str backslash SJG3 Collectibles. Over 800 items listed, new items added every day. You're talking Disney Universal, theme parks. 100% positive feedback. 
in business over 25 years, 100% positive feedback. It's unheard of. I don't we know how. We haven't even been 100% positive on this stream. And no. Pete is a very positive person. There's like one out of 10 streams where I get 100% positive feedback. And I don't even know what I do to discourage the rest, but they have sold, keep in mind, 850 items listed, new items added every day, and 100% positive feedback for 25 years. So please go support them, SJG3 Collectibles. Also gotta give a big shout out to the Patreons. Patreons are amazing, couldn't have the channel without them. We love them. Uh, the socials, go follow me on the socials at Official Corny on Instagram, at your WDW guy on Twitter. The TikToks of Adventures by Carney. The uh, you got to go jump in our Discord. Brian, tell us about the Discord. Oh, the Discord. The Discord is not only a great place to keep up with this guy's absolutely insane jam-packed schedule. <laughs> um, you know, keeps up with uh, live stream plans, uh, which he does his very best to stick to. Besides all the channels, though, you're an outsider looking in. Discord always seems like a weird place. It Let's is, talk about the vibe of our Discord. Oh, it is a little over 300 of the most positive and knowledgeable and friendly Disney fanatics that you have ever met. We talk about everything from the parks, the movies. We even have, we talk sports, uh, which, you know, Disney owns ESPN, still a tie-in. Uh, if you have any questions about the parks, it will be answered positively. Right? Nobody, nobody will uh, treat you at all negatively. If you have a question that you don't know something about the parks and you're interested in learning, we have, what, seven or eight different uh, travel agents. We also have people like Pete and I who are not travel agents, but are at least pretty knowledgeable, if not experts. Discord is great, and if you think Discord's great, you know what's even better? The Patreon program. I'll let you eat. I'm, I'm shifting off camera so we can eat. Oh, no worries. You enjoy that. I love this note. No, I'm just going to say, like, uh, I'm so thankful for Vince and the SJG3 team for sponsoring the channel. They sponsor the channel, so please support them. Um, but also, I couldn't do it without the Patreons. And I'd like to, whenever I get a chance, to just give the Patreons a little love. So I'm talking about the Tomorrowland Traveler, an amazing YouTube channel and supporter of the channel. He would be live this weekend on the days where not... So if you kind of want to fill in those gaps, go to the TomorrowlandTraveler.com, find out about his travel agency, find out when he's going live, he's on TikTok. His shorts have been so gold. I need to do it myself, but I don't want to steal from him because it's so good. But anyway, shout out to Tomorrowland Traveler. Uh, also, just Kenny Holland, Kenny Siraki. We call him Sexy Kenny, Quick Kenny. I got my man Robert D. Last time we were here at uh, Universal, an absolute legend. So... So much fun. I love hanging out with Robert. We have a lot of amazing memories, and they're only going to get better and better. Uh, my man, Ox, going back to, uh, well, John Bailey, but he's a fraternity brother of mine. Still supports the channel with him and his family, uh, and I love them so much. Our Bandito still represent New York and the whole Bet uh, Badillo fam, right? We love Nelson. Jordan Garrett, a legend. Uh, it's been a Disney fan forever, but he's a... He, he's a Great Patreon. Um, we gotta go do this faster. With Dave Garland, amazing. Um, who else we got? We got well Vince, who's our also our channel sponsor, SJG3 Collectibles. Um, Izzo, go check out Izzo's place on YouTube. Izzo is awesome, and if you want to follow another YouTube channel, that's kind of like he's a Disney fan, but he does like real life stuff where I don't, like how to fix things around your house how to age alcohol, how to taste a proper bourbon and scotch. The man's amazing. Uh, we talked about Sexy Kenny, we talked about Quick Kenny, um, Dave Garland, uh, Vince, um, Glenn and Suzanne Ritchie, absolutely amazing people. Love them so much. They've been on some streams. They'll be on a short coming up soon when we did a beer tasting together. That's gonna drop very soon. Uh, the Queen, Colleen, absolutely amazing, drops the links. She's awesome. Rosita, so on top. super chat champ. She's amazing. Trevor Neely, I love him. Also so active in our Discord. Dustin and Kara, we love Dustin and Kara. We also love John and Tara, the Thorne family. 
Uh, let's just keep you through couples. Uh, Bill and Lynette. Mm -hmm. Bill and Lynette. Uh, where would we be on Bill and Lynette? If you if you own any Carney merch, and if you don't, you should. It's thanks to Bill and Lynette. So go to our uh, Discord or our website. Go check out our merch sections. Uh, some of those things might change. Very comfortable. Very comfortable and more affordable. High quality. Everything's twenty five bucks, including shipping. So like, t shirts, tank tops, cutoffs, Razorbacks for the women, hats. the trucker hats. Um, we try to keep it all affordable, and we couldn't do it without Bill and Lynette. Also, I got to shout out to Ryan McCann, Charlie Wap, um, and also just so many other people who just always support the channel. I love Greg Gallison, Amanda Velez, Dawn, uh, you know, all, again, go check out the Patreon program. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, we have an, a Patreon Zoom call coming up April 2nd, and I still want to, if anyone's into it, I really want to do. Remember when the pandemic used to do the uh, Jackbox nights? Yeah. I want to do a Patreon Jackbox night. That would be hilarious. So I want to do it. If I don't do it this week, I want to do it next week. Because, like, I've been talking about it forever and I want to do it. That's all I'm saying. Are you done with this or are you going to have more? I, I'm going to have one more fork and then you can have the rest. It's going to be an aggressive fork, but. That's okay. I'll I want clean that, up the scraps. I want that one piece of pulp, oh, baby. Give me that octopus. Oh, yeah, you want the tentacle things. You want those suction cups. We talked about it briefly, but we do have a meetup coming up in April. Again, it is free. All we ask that you pay your own way. You can find out all the information at adventurebycarney.fun. Not .com, .fun, .fun. Adventurebycarney.fun. Uh, if you haven't hit the like button yet, I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, it's a great time to try. Give us a shot. We're having a lot of fun. There's a lot of big things coming our way. I uh, I couldn't be happier and excited. And what? one of 50 away from nine? I think we're around 50 or less away from 9,000. So we hit 9,000 subscribers. We're doing a nine hour straight stream. Nine hours of it's fun, non So much fun. We won't be tired at all. I won't be. No, I'm saying do nine hours with no, no problem. The oh, nine. fun one. The fun one is the 10K. I think that that one is going to be easier than the nine hours. No, I can do nine hours. Pretty. I don't. Uh, listen, I I don't know if it'll be easier, but I know that I'll enjoy it more. So when we hit 10,000 subscribers, which you can be a part of this, uh, we're only I don't know, probably 150 ish away from 10,000. Wow. Well, is that 1, we? 1,050. Oh yeah, one thousand. My math is off, but we can do a thousand. He skipped a zero. Is we're doing twenty-four straight hours at Walt Disney World, non-stop activities. It won't be like, hey, here's us sleeping. I am going hardcore, twenty-four hours of fun at Walt Disney World. I will be there the entire time. I'm so excited. You don't have to do that. I want to because I think that it will be the most fun. It's gonna be a blast. And also, if we ever do hit a low, there's nothing that Peyton and I can't oh, talk about, about for anything. a good seven hours. We could just be looking at like uh, a river or a, a anything, and then be like, what would you have done differently? And then there's two hours already gone. Yeah, yeah, we could sit in the back of the contemporary looking <laughs> at the lake. But we're not doing it. It's gonna be an action not. stream. But we could. That's not what the people want, but it's what the people might get. <laughs> also, there's an allegedly, Lauren will be in both the nine hour and the 12 hour stream. Whoa. Lauren's my other half that, um, you know, it's She's rare. A, it's a rare find. It's the bonus feature. a bit feature. of a recluse. She's, she's got a lot going on, but she does love the channel. She loves all of you. So she's committed to at least sections of the nine and the 24 hours. Yeah, straight. I don't want to say anything too bad about her because she will beat me up because she's so in such incredible shape. Now day 37? You know better than me. That's 37 crazy. or 38 of She's uh, visited us in the gym miles. once or twice and I don't, I'm happy she comes to drop off things for us, but also I'm like. I'm very happy that I'm the one working out most of the time because, uh, She's she's a lot meaner to be. <laughs> she is. Uh, and also, if you want to see those pictures, they're on my socials. 
So if you go uh, follow me at my Instagram, at oh, Official Carney. Please check out the outfit that he showed up with today. I had a great gym workout outfit because today. Go check that out. I found out about it when I saw him with my eyes. Which I did emerge from the dark. We worked out at we worked out at six in the morning, so like we emerged from the dark. It was pretty overcast today too, because yeah. like it's like right around where it's getting a little bit light. Uh, and uh, I had a great shot uh, when we walked out today. We had an awesome shot of like the palm trees and the moon, so we took another picture. Yeah. But again, go follow my Instagram at official carney, my Twitter at your WDW guy, my TikToks adventures by Carney, the Discord is adventures by Carney. Please join the Discord. Just use your regular name or a YouTube name so we know who you are. But, uh, and again, the Patreon's mentioned by Carney. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody. What else should we talk about? Have you eaten here? I've never eaten here. It's fantastic. No way. It's great. Honestly, one of the best theme park meals that I've had in Universal. What are they serving? It sounds like burger. It was like a chicken sandwich. Like what are they So got? I had uh, ramen, but with udon noodles. Time out. Can you scan this? I don't have my phone's recording. But let's run through like some of your top menu items. I might have to turn it that way. I don't. Well, that's fancy. What do I know? While he looks that up, I'm just gonna say hi to as many as many people as I can in the chat. Really quick, because I really appreciate you being here and spending your evening with us. It's hump day. Happy, you made it halfway through the week. You're killing it, and I hope you're having the best day. All right, I'm gonna go through the chat while he looks that up really quick. Well, I'm gonna have to just Google it, because uh, since it is after hours, they don't allow you to look at the menu. Jeez. Wait, when did you write this? I guess I have to go further up. When but he said, I'm a wuss for HHN. Oh, um... I didn't see that, so. Somebody was saying, don't take a wuss to HHN, and I said, I'm a wuss, and I love we HHN. Still take, we still take Ryan to HHN, and he's a wuss. I, I... And he's not just saying that Ryan actually won't go into certain houses. Every once in a while... We I won't go into most houses. I'm saying most, yeah. but I mean, like, every once in a while we keep him to go into one or two. Yeah, I just wanted to... Just I, in case. Yeah. Very rare. Very rare. All right, let's see where I was, because I want to give everybody love here in the chat. Uh, again, big shout out to Colleen for posting the links. Thank you so much, Colleen. She is our queen. Havoc75 in the house. David Thomas, what's up? Felix was here. Alyssa, what's going on? BU, of course, my man, Pat Makes 75 Silicon Dave. Uh, yeah, the parade's amazing here. Again, we have until, I believe, April 7th is the last night, because that's the night I'm on a float. If you want to come and you want to get some beads, let me know where you'll be before I, I have to turn off the phone. I'm going to be on the last night of floats, slinging beats. You should come and hang out. I am absolutely going to be there. I will sling so many I beats. might be in charge of the live stream that night. We'll yeah. see. Yeah, you either go live, or I was going to say, if you record in vertical, I'll make it into a short, and I'll just belt you with beats. Oh, but absolutely. I'll give you the live stream. Maybe I'll just give you the live stream. That might be a fun idea. Let us know. Put it here in the chat. Yeah, but also, if you want to see it. Jump in the Discord, do it or the Patreon really is the decision-making. Do you want a continuous live stream with Brian behind the camera, or should we just uh, record a bunch of stuff and edit it? Let us know. Don't do it here, though. Jump in the Discord. Message me the Discord, uh, on my the Patreon, Instagram. The Patreon. Patreon the members get premier act. If a Patreon asks me to do something, I basically yeah. do it. Unless uh, it's like I would, really... I would recommend uh, if you do want to input it on the Discord, Use the live stream ideas channel. Yes, a great channel. Our, our Discord has a live stream ideas channel, edited ideas, if you, heat schedule, carny crew meetups, a book chat. Uh, there's so uh, 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 Let's argue about sports. Yeah. The Discord's amazing. Uh, so I got the menu up here. All right, here we go. So, I don't know if you want to read it. We're live right now, yeah. Yeah, see. Hey. Okay, How okay. you doing? We were seated uh, behind you. Oh, nice. Yeah, we like to Where are you from? Colombia, Cartagena. Colombia! What part of Colombia? Yeah, Cartagena. Cartagena, very nice. Hey. I have friends in uh, Medellin and Bogota. And Cali. Cali? Yeah. Very big cities, yeah. nice cities too. Very yeah, nice. Uh, what's your name? For Adventures the... by Corny. It's just like this Adventures. hat right here. You can look at the hat or the shirt. Yep. Or his shirt. Bye. 
Uh, Carney, but yep. not like the meat. It's the meat with a Y. C A R N E Y. Uh, yep. That that top one right there. Yeah, yeah Benton's yeah. by Carney. Yes. Meat with a Y. Hey. And there's there's the live stream right here. And yeah, we're live right, right now. How you doing? Come yeah, on, stop. That, that's us. Oh, that's that us that live day. right now. After the hey, advertisement. We already did do you want to come? Do you want to come in and say hi? Hey. Viola. Come over here. Come over here. Say hi. Let's hey. give a shout out to Colombia. Hello. Hey. from Colombia. Hey, visit Cartagena. Hello. I invite you. Cartagena, let's go. Uh, I can't wait to come down to Colombia and hang out. I want right. to come down. You, Have a great day. Hasta luego. Great coffee from Colombia. I mean, they're the best. Yeah. You know what Colombia is known for? Things that wake you up. Coffee. Yeah. Well, that's a much better <laughs> answer. <laughs> Where was I? I'm so far behind. I have to say hi to people really quick. Uh, something about me being a wuss. No, because I... Oh, above that. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't like my face on camera while I scroll. Okay, well, I'm so going to So here's Ryan. Some, uh, so there's uh, Lucy's Top Secret Salmon, which is a wood-grilled Atlantic salmon with coconut blue rice, Thai cucumbers, edamame, and lipstick taser sauce. Whatever that is. I don't know what that last thing is. But I do remember that I had a bite of the salmon, and it was very good salmon. I feel like I dated a few women who had a lipstick taser sauce. You know, they might. It, uh, it wouldn't be allowed in uh, Universal or Disney, though. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, I'm going to throw in comments between your comments. Of course. Is our buddy Piano Rob is now also an official cast member here. He plays Pat O'Brien's up in City Walk. Fantastic. Uh, he's not there tonight, but he was there this week, and we're going to be seeing a lot more of him out here, which I'm very excited about. Uh, all right, go ahead. You're on. So uh, there is the El Macho's Salsa. The Salsa Ropa. I don't know how to say that last word. Yeah, which one? Where am I at? Top? The, the, v, the second one. This one. We have the... El Macho Salsa y Salsa Ropa Vieja, braised beef with tomato, cucumber salad, cilantro, rice, salsa roja, and El Macho something something something. El Macho Tostones. Tostones. Uh, haven't had that one? Sounds delicious. I had the Otto's Noodle Bowl, which is slow roasted porchetta, udon noodles, mm. uh, tare and cilantro, roast corn, mm. vegetable dumpling, and a Katsu broth. Mm. Bring it out. Uh, in Where was this? Here. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Year round, year round deliciousness. Uh, While you're between one, I'm just going to throw comments in between because I'm reading the chat. Yes, read the Tomorrowland chat. Traveler, which we love, says, I really want to meet Mama Phenomenal, and she is great. I get a test, and she's fantastic. Uh, besides that, uh, Boston Drew, Andrew C. says, Quahog's Coffee Milk and a Diploma uh, said last year the Megan Flash Mob was right where we were before, which was great. I think they're going to bring that back. It, One of two locations. Yes. Uh, Bill D says Germany is wunderbar. Have a great dinner at Brandy's mom. Shout out to uh, D'Lo, who's been hovering up the chat. Who's, she's really been popping up the chat all night. Also, I do have to correct you. Uh, it's Quahog's, not Quahog's. Oh. Quahog's? Quahog's. Like, like where Peter Griffin's from. I don't know who the, that is, except people say I look like him, but besides people saying that I look like Peter Griffin, I don't know who that is. But I always say Quahog because there's a town on Long Island that has that beginning of a sentence. But anyway. Andy Van Dyke says, I can't wait till I'm back in Florida so I can meet up and know all these amazing people. We cannot wait. Andy is back. Hopefully in three months or less, we had a nice conversation on the phone tonight. I'm so excited for him to be back. He drove from here. Well, he moved from California to here. Then from here to Washington and drove the whole thing. Started work the next day. Had it 50 hours. Uh, but, and I always said, at least you don't, you don't know until you try something. And when people are like, oh my God, he's going to come all the way back. That's crazy. I'm like, but he, at least he went and tried it. There's never that what if or that doubt in his mind. He went and he did it. Had a great time. He's been around family and friends, and he's coming back to Orlando. Always just try it. You got to explore. Uh, and with one thing with the uh, the ramen that I was just listing, 
it comes in two separate bowls. So you pour the sauce, the, uh, the, the broth, into the noodles so that they're not they're yes. too soggy and soggy. Yes. Fresh noodles. I love it. It sounds amazing. Matthew Kent, what's up? Crispy cauliflower, again, with that blue rice. They love that blue rice. It's just dyed um, with a natural dye. It doesn't have, you know, any of the artificial dyes. It's a, I believe it's dyed with bee? No. Uh, they, they, use, uh, they use bee juice to dye a lot of things. Um, no, it's, um, what's coleslaw made of? Coleslaw is made of just, uh, like, any kind of salt cabbage and... Oh. I just looked at the recipe I was going to do for cooking with carne because I, I like to do two or three in one to make it interesting. And there's one with cabbage. Which I haven't cooked with cabbage in forever. But it's one of my recipes that I like, but I haven't done it in four, like since I moved to Florida. They have a steak and cheese ray sandwich, which is a French dip. Love French, French dips. Dip onion, onion. Love French dips. Uh, while you're looking those up, Dilo says, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Dilo's my hype person. This is amazing. So thanks to, uh, for everyone watching. She's peaceful of fun facts and information. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do it. You'll get a ton of fun facts. And even Matthew Kent jumped on the bandwagon and said, Pete's a really great guy. I really love his live stream. So thank you so much to both of you. And also, Machebo Tabani says, hello, we are from South Africa. Shout out to South Africa. We're touching around the globe. So excited with the international subscribers. We love it. We get we get a lot of South uh, America and obviously some European. Love to hear South Africa is here hanging out with us. Shout out to you guys. I love it. We're only, to be honest, I feel like we're only like 88% uh, North America and the 12% from the rest of the world, which I love. And I'm so happy you guys are here. Um, another thing, I don't know if I should just put this out there, but I've already committed to this and in my head and I'm so excited about it, is when we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing, there'll be some sort of video every day. Some sort of video every day. I've already, like, in my head I have a plan. And I'm already recruiting uh, people who speak Spanish, people who speak Portuguese for Brazil and Portugal, and other languages so we could dub our videos across the world. Uh, yeah, because you know what? I, I believe in the channel, want to grow the channel. And honestly, the Patreons who believe in us too, it's kind of for them too, is that it takes money to make money. I have never made a dollar off of this channel. Anyone can tell you that. Um, so I just want to keep putting money back into it. I want to grow it. We want to be the biggest and the best for all of you and bring you so much fun stuff. So big things are coming. And if you're watching right now, you're one of the few that know. So thank you so much. Shout out to Shelly, Dawn. Uh, Pat Big 75 says, spicy is the way. We love spicy. Uh, Colleen Kidder loved your quote. If it's forkable, it's eatable. Rhode Island Ryan. Yeah. I'm making some Rhode Island Ryan. <laughs> Shelly says, I love NSYNC and you're on that level, which is a huge deal. And also, I hope, he, I doubt he's watching, but we are going to, Again, another thing coming soon. Only because a few people are watching, I'll say this. Joey Patone will be a big part of this channel over the next 18 months. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll have InSync member Joey Patone on the channel. We also will have uh, Mike Del Judas, who is playing Epcot this weekend, who tours with Billy Joel, literally just played the Grammys, played the whole European tour leg, is his number one backup singer, and sings on his own at Billy Joel concerts, starting the residency at the Garden and everything else. Uh, Billy gives him solos, and he's a friend of mine. So we got big things coming. I also have a lot of fun Disney and theme park stuff coming down the pipe. I'm just so excited about the channel for the summer. So please, if you haven't subscribed yet, now's the time. But I'm, I'm pumped. I'm not trying. It is a summer of fun, but I'm not trying to stay with the status quo. We are, uh, and I'm very happy with everyone who's discovering the channel and sharing it and telling your friends and family. So thank you, thank you, thank you. But we're getting big, we're getting, we're gonna have a good time. Uh, Matthew Kitt says, Pete, uh, stay one more day on April 8th and you could live stream the Eclipse in New York. I, if I stay in New York on April 8th, which I wanted to do, I would miss my last night of riding the floats here and I promised friends I would ride with them. So I have to make sure I'm home uh, by Sunday afternoon to hop on a float here. 
That week's going to be crazy. If everything goes according to plan, I'll be on a flight to the West Coast on the 2nd with a layover somewhere in the Midwest. Uh, 3, 4, 5 in the mid- uh, on the West Coast. 5 and 6. 5 at night, I'm at a charity dinner on Long Island. 6 is my nephew's first birthday party on Long Island. 7th, fly out in the morning, come home, get taken. I hope I have time to shower, but otherwise straight here to be on a float for the 7th, the very last night of Mardi Gras. So you don't want to miss that. Um, we were talking about lumpia earlier. The Pandora lumpia is very yummy. Uh, Tom says, do we still got time for beers at City Walk? I'll hang up and I'll take my answer off here. Uh, we'll see when we leave. Right now we're just hanging out here. And we still have, I, we're still catching up. Go ahead. You can go ahead. I've got a few more left. Uh, so we got uh, Chicken Stewart's Szechuan Surprise. It is a Szechuan glazed rotisserie chicken uh, with stir fried le- vegetable lo mein. Uh, I have tried that. It is a very good rotisserie chicken. I love rotisserie chicken. It's, I would say it's on par with Publix, which is saying a lot because Publix has pretty good rotisserie chicken. I love Publix. Uh, the rotisserie chicken supermarkets are so underrated. I have never bought one myself, but my friends, and I think my dad's done it in the past, love it. Our cooking with Carney, I think we're going to try and do chicken three ways. This is my next cooking with Carney, is where I take the white meat, the breast. I take the wings uh, and do those one way, and I take the other dark meat and the thighs, do those a different way. And bring them all together. Three different recipes. All the chicken uh, coming soon, hopefully. Robert says New York's my favorite area just to roam around. Uh, I totally agree. Colleen dropped all the links. So if you're looking for the links, they're in the description, but also here in the chat. Greg Brand says, hi, Ryan. It's great to see Ryan. Greg is excited to see you. I love that. Helder is here. Shout out to Helder. So it's like you guys are close in the park. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we are. We love Helder. So great to see Shelly. Shelly says, Ryan's awesome. We love, everyone loves Ryan. I love it. Padmix75 says, I really want Shelly to come to the meetup. Shelly, you got to make it happen. Padmix75 says, the, the Minion Nuggets are good. Have you ever had the Minion Nuggets? I haven't had the Minion Nuggets. I've had the Minion Tots, which are delicious little minion shaped tater tots. Uh, kind of similar to like a smiley face pie. Okay. Uh, that, that same style um and uh they have a waffle grilled cheese which is very good it sounds very good so it's a grilled cheese that's waffle fried oh yeah so it's got the the waffle cups Uh, so if you enjoy dipping your cheese into something love that premises for you to dip it into oh it sounds amazing Shelly won't be here for the meetup, but she is helping us run our Hershey Park meetup. We do meetups around the country. Sometimes I'm there, sometimes I'm not, but I love that that exists. I am really pushing hard. It's towards the end of July. If you want any more information, jump on our Discord or on our website. Uh, our, our meetup here is, what is it? Uh, 18 through 21. April 18 through 21. And then I think it's the second weekend in July, but you'll again, you'll see it on our website and our Discord is we're going to do two days at Hershey Park, uh, maybe Dorney too. Shelly's helping run that. Uh, people want to go up there. I'm working my hardest to make it. There's been two or three meetups without me. There's been other ones where I, I had an awesome meetup in Boston. But, yes, if you guys want to go to Hershey Park or Dorney, uh, towards the end of – I think it, I'm trying to think of the, the exact dates, but it's towards the end of July. It's in our Discord. Go check it out. Sorry, so you keep going. Uh, okay, uh, so there is three more things, and I haven't had any of these, but they sound, well, two of them sound fantastic. One of them is a salad. It does sound like it's a good salad, but it's a salad. Um, so Uncle Drew's belly fill in pork sandwich, which is slow roasted porchetta, chimichurri sauce, mustard aioli, apple butter, bacon jam, arugula, on a Hawaiian pretzel bun with green banana chips. I made to all of this. That sounds Where is fantastic. This? Here. What, like in this restaurant? This restaurant. You're describing a lot of good things. There is the Agnes Honeymoon Soup. We cannot soup. do the whole menu. You get two more and that's it. That, this, there is two more. There okay. is two more. You. 
Uh, if so you were about to do the whole menu, I'm, more, I'm like trying to feel full for the night. Agnes You're honey moon soup, hungry. green tomato soup with crispy pork belly, tomato gummy bear, basil oil, served with a pimento cheddar cheese. Our cheddar grilled cheese. You know sandwich. we love our pimento cheese, and a basil oil sounds amazing. And then there is the salad, which has purple cabbage, arugula, tomatoes, cucumber, edamame, crispy pork belly, pulled rotisserie chicken, green banana chips, and a mustard ale vinaigrette. Fantastic. I love it. And then they have desserts, but I'm not gonna go into those because we're not dessert people. There's no time. And but this, we're just listing a menu that's here year round. You can just look this up online too. But the Minions Cafe. Clearly, he's got some good stuff. I didn't know that. And the theming is very fun in there. The theming is great inside. We'll walk through it. We'll walk through there and well, leave. I don't know if we can walk through, but we'll show through the window. I'm going to try to uh, because, but also, uh, before we walk through, Pete McDevitt is in the chat. We love the Pete McDevitt Show, another amazing YouTube channel. The man is uh, so much fun, has a ton of knowledge, not only on Disney, but sports. But also the YouTube community. He just supports and loves helping the YouTube community. We got, we'll get to walk through this empty, but the theming in this restaurant is fantastic. We got some bananas going through the tubes. Yeah, there's literally bananas flying so through the tubes. I love the artwork as well. I think I have to go watch Minions now. Huh? I think I might have to go watch Minions. So I love the banana wet floor signs. Me too. So I love the banana neon, but also your wet floor signs are literally bananas. This restaurant is bananas. You think we leave the, through the front? 33 ways to take a minion break. This is great too. I haven't even seen this. This is hilarious. <laughs> Does that mean you have to buy D2 and D3 to get the gun? Mighty Ducks 2 and 3? <laughs> I love they have the foosball table with the minions. The lockers are open. Oh, there's so many things happening in these lockers. Oh my god. Walking around this restaurant could be a... So good. Teamwork <laughs> means it's nobody's fault. Procrastination, because great food takes time. That, I need that for my house. The signs and the posters around the room. This would all work in my house. Also, I want their googly eye supplier because they've got some really big googly eyes. Great googly eyes, reminds me of uh, Dragon Con. With that, the park is closed and oh, it is raining. Ugh, that's no fun. It's drizzling. Ugh, that's no fun. If you haven't ever heard of the Pete McDevitt channel, go check them out. Pete is the man. He's an awesome dude. Uh, it says, ready to get some football show going. And yeah, I was just talking about football show. I actually went by the owner's meeting today. I'm going to go back tomorrow and try to get... I'm going to go back tomorrow in a better outfit. I think I'm going to wear a suit. So for those who don't know, if you're an NFL fan, the NFL player and owner's meeting is happening in Orlando right now. Oh. That's where they just voted on the new rule that went out today about the drop tackle, the new kickoff. What, uh, so no drop tackles? No, you, you're not allowed anymore to grab a guy by his hips and uh do a hip tackle like uh that that's how um the, uh, the fsu quarterback this last year got his leg broken two days yeah. before so they're ruling it out uh that was voted on today i know what hotel they're all staying at i know where they're all what's going on so i i popped in today to see if i was gonna be able to get lucky 
tomorrow I'm gonna wear, I think, uh, my suit and just uh, see who we get to talk to. Go talk to some owners. Adam Schefter was there today. Uh, the Jets podcast was out in the hallway. I don't own a suit, and I do that on purpose so that I have an excuse to not go to fancy things. Wow. I wish I could say that, but uh, most of my life is in suits. I think I have like 12 suits and three tuxedos. Nope, I owned <laughs> one suit jacket at one point, and one of my ex-girlfriends uh, washed it in the washing machine. Oh, good. Uh, it was a nice, uh, you know, Ralph Lauren suit jacket. Uh, very nice, very nice. And uh, ruined. Ruined forever. Well, we'll see what happens. Tomorrow, I will tell everybody... I think I might take the day off from streaming, but who knows? I want to stream again. And also, I feel so bad that I missed out on promoting SJG3 Collectibles yesterday that I wanted to give more love for the rest of the month. Also, please check out. We're good. Thank you so much, though. Have a great day. Well, we're definitely going to promote it from Epcot Friday. Oh, yeah. Friday night, we're going to see Mike Del Judas. If you guys are in Epcot Friday, please come join us. Again, check out all the things. Everything's down linked in the description. Uh, my Instagram is at official Carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. My TikTok's Adventures by Carney. The Discord is Adventures by Carney. The website is Adventures by Carney. Fun. Everything you need to know is on there. Plus, our meetup coming up April 18th through the 21st. The schedule's on the website and in the Discord. I'm just so grateful and thankful that you all are here. It's you could be anywhere. Universal ball is spinning again. Yeah, the Universal ball is spinning and smoking again. That's so exciting. We'll show you. Uh, we started out here, so it's appropriate we end out here. We've been talking about uh, at least the talk town has been this Nickelodeon documentary. But the Nickelodeon Studios used to be right here to the right, between here and the Hard Rock. And if you ever are here during the Christmas season, and you watch the uh, the Grinch stage show. Yes. The bathroom on the outside of that building still has the Nickelodeon themed slime floors. No way! I did not know that. Yes. Yeah, so they still have the Nickelodeon themed slime tile floors. It is just a standard uh, tile floor, but with white and green in a slime ooze pattern. Wow! I did not know that. Also, if you did not know, if you've never been here. Uh, between Universal Studios Florida, as you can see right here, the famous arches. The other side is Islands of Adventure. And then there, uh, hangout area in between the restaurants and shopping area is called City Walk. It's a beautiful area. Uh, it's, you know, if you've been to Disney Springs, they kind of have theirs between the two parks. But it's a little bit smaller, <laughs> but well, a lot smaller. And this is, I would say, a lot more eating and drinking, whereas Disney Springs is a lot more shopping. No, but I, to me, when I go there, I'm always eating and drinking. Well, yes, but I, I would say that there's a, there's a smaller variety there's just of stores. Here, yeah. A larger variety of restaurants. And at Disney Springs, though, you're talking there's at least uh, probably 60 and 60 of each. 60 restaurants, 60 stores. Yeah, it's just so much bigger. Probably but they also, restaurants and bars. so like, we have a concert venue at Disney Springs, House of Blues. This is kind of their equivalent. Hard Rock is a very similar capacity and setup. So if you ever are looking for a fun concert or is my uh, a comedian or a band I like coming to town or something fun, check the Hard Rock here and check House of Blues over at Disney Springs. So uh, during the workout, I showed uh, Pete, uh, a musical artist, Tobe Nguigwe. He's playing there later is this, he? uh, this summer. <sighs> now I'm going to have to go because I really liked it. We'll see. Money is tight. But anyway, here we are, Universal City Walk. I think this is a perfect time to say goodnight. Thank you so much. We just had three streams the last three days. If you missed anything, please go check it out. I'm going to have shorts coming out. We'll also be live Friday night. You don't want to miss it. From Epcot, Flower and Garden Festival, Walt Disney World. Mike Del Judas, who tours of Billy Joel, uh, and a good friend of mine, will be there. Thank you so much for being here. Again, big shout out to uh, Pete McTever came in late, but everybody who's been here, Tomorrowland Traveler, go check out the tomorrowlandtraveler.com. Go check out our website, adventuresbycarney.fun. Check out our sponsor, SJG3 Collectibles. And again, a big shout out to my man, Ryan right here. He's the best. I love you, bud. Thanks. Love you too.
tomorrow morning we have off, which is nice. So I don't have to oh, work I'm out. so excited to sleep in and not work out. Yes, I have to work as, in the morning. As much as I don't want to not see Pete for a day, I would like to not see Pete at 6 in the morning. We're taking a break tomorrow. But then Friday morning, we're back to working out. And then Friday night, we're back at Epcot. And you are allowed back in the parks. I am. Friday is the day I am allowed back. So I will be there because I have missed Disney these past couple weeks. We're happy to have you back. Um, and we won't have this issue anymore because Pete and I now have the same tier pass again. Same tier pass. He also did water parks and golf, which I'm very excited about. Yeah, so you're again, if you know about the Disney Parks mini program, golf and yeah. foot golf because it's free for us now. Lauren should show up in one of these streams. Again, our meetup is April 18th and 21st. Go check out our website, adventuresbycarney.fun. Adventures by Carney is all of our things, right? So go to the Discord, go check it out uh, on our Patreon. Thank you all, all the Patreons. Thanks to SJG3 Collectibles. That's it. Yes. It's time to call it. I love you all. I hope you all have a wonderful Wednesday from the beautiful City Walk here at Universal Studios as the globe spins away. Do you see Hard Rock, the Chocolate Emporium, Toothsome's over there, Islands of Adventure, Margaritaville, Cowfish, NBC Grill. We love you. We hope you have a great night. And since Pete didn't say it this stream, be kind to one another. I was, man, you beat me to it. But yes, please. <laughs> I like to end every stream with a, please be kind to one another. You never know what anyone else is going through. Everyone's got a story. Let's change the world. I'll see you guys real soon. Ta-ta for now. TTFN. Uh, bye bye